and Winnie. Hi! <laughs> We're just getting uh, Instagram ready. So, tell us what's in tonight's show, Elena. So, we have amazing bags. We have Chanel, Louis Vuitton, we have Hermès, and we have amazing jewellery with a little bit of history. Yes, so, uh, if you are a fan of vintage Chanel, we've got some vintage Hermès, we've got some Kelly bags, we have some incredible vintage Dior, a little coin purses, which are hot price friendly. They're all around about the hundred pound mark. So, you know, if you are starting your vintage journey, then you have to stay on and watch this live show. So some of the benefits of watching this live show is what do we do during this live show? During this live show, we will cover your taxes and import duties. So the only thing you pay is the price you see. Exactly. Plus a little bit of shipping. Yes, just a little bit uh, for shipping, which is £10 for UK, Europe is £15 and over the uh, rest, rest of the world, of the world. is £35. Pounds. We also have the fantastic Rachel moderating and I'm sure halfway through she'll be jumping, modeling, modeling <laughs> for us. She even put her lipstick on so she knows she's going to be modeling <laughs> for us. <laughs> she always looks great. Exactly. <laughs> So, um, during the live show, how it works is as we are talking, we present the products, we'll be showing you in a transparent condition, we'll give you styling options. Most importantly, if you love history, we'll try and give you some fashion history, authentication tips. So that's one of the benefits of watching this live show. Um, once the product is ready, it will be pinned on your top right-hand corner or left-hand corner, depending on which way you see the, the screen. Is it left or right? It's right the right right. Okay, your left hand corner. Um, and it and once it's pinned, it is dynamic. It's very much an interactive show. All you need to do is to tap on that picture and it will take you to the website where you can read further information, see imagery, and most importantly, you can add to cart straight away. Now, um, anything we need to oh yes we take all uh, major forms of credit and debit card as well as paypal and we offer something called split it as well so split it is a payment plan that is interest free and it's a great way to make those um, luxuries into affordable um, bite-sized chunks in three six nine and twelve months and most importantly it is um, interest free it is only available on credit cards however when you do check out you have to make sure you've got the full amount on the credit card it blocks out the full amount and then it'll carve up to the payment plan you want so let's who's on today Nilsa, <laughs> the sitar sisters Ditti, sandy and over we also have instagram on right now and we've got lots of people waving hi so uh let's get started you choose Okay, I choose. <laughs> All right then, let's choose. Uh, what do you think I should go for? Jewelry. Jewelry. <laughs> I actually want to go straight in. I want to go for that one. For Celine. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna this go straight is amazing. In. This is like a collectible Celine item it with is. original vintage box. I've never seen and a round dust bag. I have yeah. seen them. I've never. I didn't realise so it is like... a Celine um, in a round box. It's almost like a mini hat box, isn't it? Yes. Guys, it even has I the original the ribbon as well. Um, it comes with its original dust bag as well. Oh, sorry, it's a little pouch. I'm afraid. Yeah, it's a pouch. Little pouch. Do you need this? And this is beautiful. So if you follow our vintage luxury promise. Instagram page you will see that we have recently posted this and this is highly collectible uh, This is a gold tone tea bar um, Arc de Triomphe globe um, Celine Paris vintage bracelet. I'll just quickly show our friends on Instagram as well as on our live show and the Arc de Triomphe logo was actually designed by uh, Celine uh, Vis the founder the founder. Yeah, brand. I think her name is the Celine Vipiana, Vipiana, and she introduced the logo, this little Arc de Triomphe logo, um, in 1973. And the little chain you see here, is that an official name? Is it Bla Chain de Blaison? Bla chain, chain Blaison, I think. And it was actually inspired by, by the, the Arc de Triomphe in the most iconic um, landmark in Paris. And the little chain logo, which you see here, which has now been bought back by H H Hedy Silmain, who is now the creative director at Celine, uh, was actually inspired by it because the chains actually um, decorate the base of the Arc de Triomphe. 
and this is just wonderful isn't it it is amazing this is a rare piece because these items don't come across very often and not only it's like i don't know a masterpiece of vintage jewelry yeah it has all it has also been featured uh in uh, celine campaign from the early 90s and i have okay. i can show you the campaign so there's a model she's having a full set on so that's a necklace a bracelet she also has earrings and then a dog i it's love very, the dog i love the dog it's like a sharpie oh my gosh but yes. just have a look how stunning this is and to come across this piece this is so rare this is so so rare it's like the something you want to you want exactly. to have and to keep exactly so when it comes to um vintage collecting if we we call that referencing so if we can reference something that actually adds collectible power in the vintage item which we hold here. And that advert was from early 90s, early 90s so yes. 1992, we think. So let me just demonstrate it oh, on you, how it I looks like. Right. Yeah. And Bye. also these items which have been featured on the catwalk, on the uh, campaigns, they hold their investment value the most. So they would only grow with time and their value will only grow with time. So just look how stunning this is. Yes, it's chunky, yeah. it's bold, but it's, um, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I just and I love, love all the this. Li yeah, I love the little globe and the little Arc de Triomphe. Yeah. It's very, very French. It's so bold. I know. It's, but it's, it's like, like oh, I don't I know. I love it. I know. So it's it has the so T-bar closure. It's not adjustable, so it's quite chunky. And I would say, it's like, I'm 16, but it's definitely up to 18, Yeah. I say. Yeah. And how does it feel? I like this. I like the sound. Yeah, like, you know? <laughs> exactly. It is so wonderful. So it's signed Celine Paris. And in terms of condition, it does have like a little wear to the gold plated uh, metal. But overall, I'd say it's a very good vintage condition. Don't flip yeah. the screen. Yes. Yeah, Let me do the yeah the, what's the, the pano yeah pano. so the price of this item is oh, 695 pounds 695 which is 854 us shall dollars shall i flip it yes please and just gorgeous. look how amazing this is so you got the celine paris signature you have this links with um triumph logo and then you get all those amazing pendants hanging it is incredible. It is incredible. I have never seen one in this I, I was set. always after... Yeah. I haven't seen the set. And yeah. I was always after, uh, like, this type of jewellery from Celine. Because this is so iconic. Yeah. And such rare to come by. And it's like just holding this in yeah. your hands. It is such a, it this, is such an incredible piece. So this is the wear I'm talking about on yeah. the, on the um, uh, ring of the T-bar closure. And it's also signed, made in Italy. Oh, it's wonderful. But six hundred ninety-five pounds, or eight hundred fifty-four US dollars. This is an amazing price, and I must say, this is almost a full set. It doesn't have the tag, but no. it has the it, it has the with box. The original box. Do you actually know people sell uh, vintage boxes? They do yeah. sell, and they cost a lot. Yeah. So basically, this comes included in the price, and I think it does. I oh know not the dust bag, but the padding inside. Yeah. So. The icon of this item will appear very shortly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. So if you love this item, all you need to do is just tap on that uh, picture icon there. That will take you to the website where you can read further information. And most importantly, if you want to buy it, you can buy it directly from the website. You can add to cart. So the price is £695, which is $864 US dollars, and it includes all your customs and duties in the price as well so there right let's uh move on can i actually ch while we're on celine i love this piece which one? Oh, i love I it love this piece this is so special i have yeah. never seen this actually i must I know, say this is such a fun piece so while we're on the topic of celine another amazing sort of tea bar charm uh, bracelet is this uh, vintage celine with the tortoise shell and it features the celine logo all in blaze like this so it has um um, it's, it, it's just wonderful. It has a beautiful chunky chain as well. It is gold tone, um, uh, gilded in gold, and it's actually signed. Is that LD? No, LD. LD. Oh, that's LD. Okay. Made in Italy. Yeah. So it says made and in Italy. I get to try this. Yes, and please <laughs> be my perks, hand. Perks. Perks of the job. Yeah. Perks of the job. I get to try everything. <gasps> 
Oh, it's wow. so cool. Actually, I would turn it so Celine would go like, yeah. this way. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it's such it's an unusual piece. This is like rare, 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 rare. Really, really rare. Really, really rare. It's oh, almost wow. as fun. Um, we love vintage Chanel, but when it comes to Celine, it's actually quite fun to find discover but these pieces. Because it's even, the, I think the quantities were produced like even less than Chanel. Yeah. So it's really hard to find, find them. these, yeah. Especially in such an amazing condition. So this condition is stunning. I'd say it's like almost excellent. So yeah. there's just a tiny wear to the ring. Um, and then uh, the medallions are oh, just incredible. Pr pristine. These yeah. are pristine. And you get the Celine logo as well. I know, oh it God. is absolutely. Do, do we have, uh, you're waiting for a skew? No. no? Okay. So, shall we maybe measure it? Do we have yeah, any measuring? Yeah, I do. Too? Oh, no, lots of people chatting away. <laughs> Hi, I know, oh, Brenna's going, this is gorgeous. Let me just grab uh, the, the measuring tape. So from end to end, it is approximately... 22 centimeters. Yeah, which is about nine inches. If it was like a little, you know what? If it, if you can get like... Just do that. <laughs> yeah, really you? I know. You know, but you can't close it. Yeah. It's like, I would oh, add... Yeah. Yeah, look. Yes, if you are actually that. You can, oh, oh my gosh, doesn't that look amazing? That's just taking it to the next level. I know. <laughs> look at that. It looks so great. It. I would totally wear it yeah. as, an, as a choker. Yeah. It's like exactly. I would buy, like, you know, like How sweat we, something. Yeah. Like, with, I will put this through the links, like yeah. the round ones. Like a piece of uh, suede or... Oh, so, suede, like yeah. a black suede. And then you just literally suede just ribbon. bow. Yeah. yeah, the ribbon. And then you just tie a bow on the back. <gasps> that oh, is wow. You see, you get, with the vintage stuff, you're getting like two... Instantly, you're getting yeah. like two items for the price of exactly. one. Exactly. And what's amazing about this, you know that no one will have this. This, this is I, why we I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need this. Seriously, I really need this. So, I think so oh, amazing. Sam's saying you can get an extender from Amazon. Well, oh, we'll wow. look out for that one. So the price of this tortoiseshell, tortoiseshell charm bracelet is £595, which is $731. US dollars. Highly collectible. Stunning. I would say it's even more collectible than Chanel. Um, because I don't know we'll ever find a replacement no, we for this. It's will such an unusual not. piece. And I would say it's probably near uh, the same period as the very first one was the Globe one I as think well. it's like 90s, mid yeah. 90s, early 90s. Yeah. This is stunning. Oh, I just like, oh, just oh thank that. you so much, Roxana. What did she say? <laughs> looks amazing. It did look me. amazing on you. Actually, I would like... I like Celine's T-bar closure because it's quite recognisable. It's always yes. the yes, same. Yes, it's very, yeah. yes. So it's a very round a flat disc. It always says Celine and followed by Paris. And the T-bar closure is also very nice and thick and very, yes. very chunky. And so. you, can, you can close it by yourself, you don't need yeah. anyone <laughs> else to help you. It does look so good on the necklace. <gasps> uh, absolutely. Yeah, I agree, Noma. I should, love we this. Should, we should keep it. I, I know. That chain is amazing. It is, That's isn't like it? just as a chain, that would be good. Exactly. So, if you want to purchase this item, all you need to do is just tap on that icon. That will take you to the website where you can see further imagery. And most importantly, you can add to cart. And remember, all your duties are taxes are included in this in this uh, sale as well. Look what Niels is saying. What she's when saying? you're saying Celine, they're thinking about us, not the Celine Ah, girl. yes, Thank Celine. You. When we see Celine rather than Celine Dion, oh, well, I don't know if Celine Dion is as cool as this. Well, she's <laughs> styling. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah. So, let's move on. Let's do more. Yeah. yeah. Let's do more. Yeah. You choose something. I choose. Yeah. I choose while I still have my lipstick on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks really good with your lipstick. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do the earrings. So, the SKU is ASL 2188. So these are, when I first saw this, I was like, wow, this is so stunning. So just have a look. This is, this is the last collection, collection 29. This is the last collection of uh, Victoire de Castellan. So she introduced the seasons when she joined uh, Chanel as a designer for jewelry. And the most collectible seasons are from 23 to 29. So that's roughly the beginning of the 90s, ending with 1992. So this is the last season Season 29, so that corresponds to 1992. Mm -hmm. And just look how beautiful these are. 
Oh, these are I need to try amazing. this. Amazing. Um, taking my... You know what? I always feel like this looks like um, a piece of like candy. It's just like the release Actually, of it. Actually, yes. It, so, it has like this... Yeah. I don't know, like... Uh, I don't know even how to, to describe this. It's like this, a like, really large Smartie inside. Yes. <laughs> but... Uh, this hey, is tiny. Really. Yeah. <laughs> you are? I am. I'm going to keep this. I like this. Oh, it really does go well with your lipstick. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I like that they're like, you know, you're getting the vintage item, which is obviously collectible. Yeah. And the um, color combination <gasps> is amazing. It is amazing. But at the same time, they're so wear wearable. Yeah. Like, they're not, not entirely huge. Like, you can still wear them So, this is during from collection 1991. Uh, 1992 should be 1992. What was the theme for collection 1992 then? Oh, let me remember. Was this this is in the collection where there were really tiny crops? The tops. tiny crops, I think they were 1994. Yeah, a couple of years later. 1990, I think 91, 92, they were like, you know, with red and uh, navy blue and black. Oh, very traditional. Yes. Yeah. At the same time, remember the. Um, the strand of uh, like uh, plastic uh, necklace we sold last week. Oh. They were from I think collection twenty six. Oh, it? Like okay. the year before, so they had this like so it's all about layering, layering oversized these beads and everything. Mm -hmm. So just look how amazing this looks, and it's it's not heavy. It's very comfortable, and I really love the combination of this coral red. I wouldn't say it's like a red red. It's like mm. a coral red, and um, the gold around so the condition is stunning you get the original clip on the back and they're both signed and the clip closure is functioning perfectly so price of the these. price of this i want to know the price so it's 1350 pounds or 1660 us dollars and they are available here at the icon <laughs> this is stunning. I love this. So, I've just picked up something very, very cute. Look how cute this vintage Dior little coin purse. It is absolutely dinky. This is my hand. This is this is to scale how big it, how tiny this item is. Uh, it features the canvas exterior. It's a treated canvas, so it's got like a PVC coating, and it has a try. Um, sort of uh, trapezoid style and it is so adorable um it uh, has a kiss lock clasp with a frame and inside it is just big enough just to hold coins this is so cute isn't it you know if you can add like a strap in here you can wear them like a necklace bag like that is so ones. true that is so true so it will be so like, because it has an outer frame you can actually attach a little uh like clip on yeah clip on chain and you could actually wear this as a little micro bags are very big yeah, at the know, moment aren't they so yeah. you yeah. Micro bags very big <laughs> or in <laughs> <laughs> So very, very cute. I would say this is all 80s, um, 80s, early 90s design, has that honeycomb Dior logo uh, in a light tan brown colour. Uh, overall, the condition is very good. It has a leather train that, tr uh, trim. There is light wear to the corners, but it is absolutely adorable. It's actually big enough to hold a lipstick as well as some coins as well. I think you can actually fit a bank card here. Keys for sure. Do you think you could no? get a bank card? Oh, probably not. It's no, not I think, off. yeah. I think <laughs> it would be too small. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could <laughs> do with cutting base. some of my heart cards. <laughs> so, yes, and it has this really lovely gold tone little coin clip here, kiss lock clasp. So, very good, clean interior. And the item is up. And it's only £113, which is oh, a great why price. £113. £113, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of. It's such a so jingle. Yeah, it's almost and free. Actually, yeah. I think I prefer like a lipstick, separate lipstick case, because I don't want to. Yeah. Because we have marks on my, in my purse. Exactly. And it has the. It features the Dior logo, £113, which is $139 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. I can see we have hit over nearly 105 oh, people. Wow. Hello and good evening my name is Winnie and I'm joined by Elena and tonight's show is all about vintage treasures so if you're a fan of vintage we have lots of Chanel, Louis Vuitton, 
lots of incredible Celine pieces, then please stay with us in the next hour and a half. Um, we will be showcasing these items, we'll be showing the condition, we'll be talking about some of the history, some of the provenance behind these pieces. And as we talk, the pieces will appear and you can, for example, we've talked about these three pieces, you can tap on those images and that will take you to the website where you can um, look at imagery, you can shop further, uh, you can uh, read further information and most importantly, you can add to cart as well. During this live show, we're covering all your customs and duties. Um, the only thing you have to pay is shipping. Shipping is £10 for um, with uh, UK, £15 for Europe and £35 for the rest of the world. And we take all major forms of credit, debit, PayPal, as well as split it, which is a, a great affordable way of managing your luxury, prom uh, luxury pr um, purchases <laughs> over three and six and nine, 12 months interest-free and it's only available on credit cards so oh pretty said she has received my paco Ravan back today oh amazing. do you like it do you like it that is so cool that is a real like 1960s paco Ravan. that is amazing pretty is all the way in new zealand as well so really? yes oh, wow. so uh, i'm so so glad i love the fact that our vintage travels the world travels the world so, which reminds me, if you are watching this from another part of the world, please let us know, because it's always really fascinating to see or hear where you guys are watching this live show and what you're doing. Uh, you could be on a school run, it could be just getting up, uh, maybe you put your kids to bed, or having dinner, exactly, or at the gym. <laughs> Do let us know. <laughs> oh, amazing. Pretty says she loves her bag. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, We're so happy for you. Yes, yeah, so, so happy. Hello, Charlene. Oh, amazing. Oh, yes. Hannah's um, watching us from Spain. So, amazing. We're in Spain, Hannah. Uh, Winnie, of all those throwback names are coming around. New collection for Pierre Cardin has Paris buzzing. Oh, is it? I have to. It's I really. Seen. No, I haven't, I haven't seen. seen. I do like Pierre Cardin. Um, really, you know, same time as Paco Rabanne, very, very, um, then, then they kind of franchised, that's how they make money, but um, especially vintage Pierre Candan was very, very cool. Um, Neil says in NYC, eating lunch right now. Uh, someone's from um, Grand Canaria. Canaria. Oh my gosh, I'd love to swap places. I'd like to be by the beach right now. Montreal, Canada. I might be going to Canada, hopefully. Fingers yeah, fingers crossed. In rainy England, yeah. uh, Manhattan Beach, California. Stoss Squad, Stoss Squad Marilyn. Marilyn. I know you, Marilyn. And somebody from London. Amazing. This is this is so incredible that we've got all these people from all over the world watching. So let's, let's show you more bags. Um, let's do the walk. Yes, good idea. Let me show you the walk. So every week we always get somebody asking, do you have any woks? And today no one's asked. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Don't worry, we have it. But we have it. So for those, that person who's always asking if we've got a wok, we've got a wok. We do. We have the classic style wok and it comes with its original box, and um, which is so unusual. Woks is one of the, the most requested bags and um, this one's in incredible condition. This is a vintage style. This is the first generation style comes with its original dust bag it has a little chanel dust bag it has its box as well and we've got this little vintage piece here it's crafted from caviar skin leather with a classic cc logo and it features the gold tone chain and it has the handy back pocket as well so this is the vintage piece um it is a comes with a serial sticker this is a four series so this is really old this is from 96 to 97 has the push lock clasp at the front and this is like i would say the very first generations of wok um, it has a side gusset so you actually can fit a lot of items in here and it features lots of options for your credit and debit cards as well as a separate coin zipper area just here um, this one's in lovely condition. That's the beauty of caviar skin. Caviar skin is a grained leather, and one of the thing the, the benefits of caviar skin is a very durable and hard wearing leather. Um, it's really easy to maintain and look after. Um, overall, it's in lovely condition. Just light wear to the corners, and the sure, chain yeah. is in excellent condition. So. The wok can be worn as a crossbody style. 
And actually, if you find the chain to be a little bit long, yeah. in Chanel Boutique, you can get like a shortener. So it's like, they, they're selling on Amazon, but actually you can get one at the Chanel Boutique. It's like a small thing, looks like infinity style. Yeah. And you can use this to shorten the strap. Mm -hmm. So if you find this, you, you would like to wear it not as a shoulder bag, but for example, as uh, not as a crossbody, but as a shoulder bag, you can always get this. Yeah. Or you can just double wrap it. Yeah, so you could tuck it, yeah, so you tuck in the strap. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. Like a crop. Yeah. Yeah, like this probably. No? <laughs> I think so. I think you're doing it right. I don't know. Probably not. Oh, Grace makes it look so easy when she does it. twist it. It's like you have to twist it and yeah, then you and have then... to do it like this. Oh, yeah, yes. that's it. So we see. So that becomes more... Like a little bit shorter and maybe... You can wear it as a... And maybe it will sit high. Oh, I like that length actually. This is actually very nice. Yeah, yeah. I personally love walk. I, I, I always carry it with me when I'm traveling. So you can put the passport, some money in there. Mm -hmm. And this is like something to okay. hold them safe. Yeah, definitely. Should we do my uh, phone test? Yes. <laughs> Where are your phone? Yeah, I've only got... Rena, are you on here? Have you got your bag yet? Because um, you might find something in there. I hope you're yes. there, Brenna. <laughs> so I've got the iPhone 13. This is the same spec as an iPhone 13. And it fits perfectly, perfectly in there. So it definitely will fit. So this incredible vintage wok is only £1,695, which is US dollars It's in great condition, comes with a dust bag, has original series sticker, is a four series, and it also comes with its box. The card is missing. Um, however, everything else is there. Even this tiny exactly. CC, I love it. I think that is an incredible price. It is a very good yeah. price. Because what are wops now? They're 2800 I think closer to free, depending on the material. Yeah. But the quality and the craftsmanship of the vintage uh, yeah. bags is just impeccable. Yeah. Uh, do you have the fake? No, because that's... Sandy, the fake iPhone 12 is in someone else's handbag. Oh. I won't say any more. Brenna. <laughs> I love how the really want to be Kim's, Kim's. I know, everyone wants more. I actually need to... You know, um, needs more on Simon. You know what, I may have to go Pro Max with this because it's looking a bit um, uh, tatty. So um, next show, I'll get an upgrade. <laughs> right, so let's do some Louis Vuitton. Uh, I know you guys love a bit of Louis. Uh, we have, I hope this is in the drop today. Oh, it's a little so uh, a port um, document. Okay. So we have a classic uh, port document case um, crafted from the um, uh, LV monogram um, canvas design, treated canvas design. This is a great unisex gift. Yes. It can definitely fit a 15, up to a 15 inch MacBook or a laptop um, and it's actually designed to be more likely to hold your documents, but I, it can definitely be a laptop case. Oh, the inside is so nice. Yeah, the, the whole thing is actually really, really nice. And with Father's Day around the corner, this makes a great gift. Has the Louis Vuitton logo inside. The condition is incredible. Or you can use this as an oversized clutch, very runway. I think it looks very editorial with this oversized style um, it has a brass tone zipper the zipper just shows just light wear but the main exterior of the bag is excellent lovely and clean with no major wear or damage and you can see the corners and sides as well so it's a really really nice lovely piece and it is has its date code here which is just inscribed there. And this is a TH code, which is made in France. And it's from 2001. So this was made in 2001. So it's a great thing. And actually wear it as a clutch, right? I think so, yeah. Doesn't it look like a runway? No, it looks like, so good. Like, yeah. you know you're wearing it day to night. Like, you're going to work and then you can just put your laptop out. And yeah. You have something to go on. But as a laptop case, I mean, the laptop is one of the things that we, we always carry yes. in our handbag. So to protect it in something like this, it's really good. It's really, really good. So it's a good investment. And it doesn't need to be hidden somewhere in the back. It's like an accessory by itself. Exactly. So this amazing vintage monogram canvas pot stop, 
posh document is available for £395, which is $485 uh, US dollars, and it includes all the customs and duties. Oh, it was OMG, Brenna, you actually got Winnie's phone. Yes. <gasps> I yeah, yeah, I put a phone in the bag that she bought last week, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> As a little gift from me. <laughs> Loving the pink classic behind you, Winnie. Oh, let's do that Let's do this, yes, let's do this okay. one. Okay. I want to see the pink before they go off on the small run. Okay, amazing. So, we had the most coveted bag. Not only bubble is gum. it, it is bubblegum pink, it's classic. It's a uh, 10 inch medium size. It's just everything you want in a vintage classic bag. Um, it comes with its original box. And I think. Let me have a look if it has a dust bag. Yeah, does it have a dust bag? I can't quite remember. But isn't that just wonderful? Crafted from pink lamps. It does lamps. have a dust bag. It does have yes, dust, yeah. So it comes with the box and dust bag. Uh, this is the 10 inch medium size. Um, it's so refreshing to see another colour, isn't it? And this, this is what you call bubblegum pink. I would right? call it like a bubblegum Yeah, yes. definitely. It's very like bubblicious, yes. that, that colour like pink. Like Barbie matte or Barbie, yeah. like, yes. like you know, lipstick. You know, they have yeah. lipstick in this colour. Like yeah. The Barbie would have the lipstick. Gosh, imagine having lipstick this colour. I don't think it will suit that. Not me, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I have got lipstick. Really? Yeah. Rachel, you need to model this. I need to see it. Like, I'll wear it tomorrow. Okay. She she maybe you'll put, yeah. to the... you put it on. Oh, your nails. <laughs> oh, that a coral really pink. So, I just love it. It's, it's just such a joy to look at this beautiful pink. Uh, crafted from lambskin leather. Features the silver tone hardware, and I think silver and pink really go well together. Yes, I, can't, really, I honestly can't imagine like gold hardware. It wouldn't look, it look a bit harsh. No, no, yeah, I think the cool undertones really um, complement the silver hardware. This one is in good condition. It has just light wear to one corner, but the bottom is nice and clean, and it's nice and clean along the back with no color transfer. It is, yes, it is the perfect lipstick pink. Hello, Sabrina. Oh, are Sabrina. You, are you watching this from, I don't know, 50,000 meters above the air? <laughs> I, I will not be surprised if she will just double, <laughs> double screen it and you. Exactly. So it's a double flap and inside it is lovely and clean and this is, it has its original serial sticker and this is a 27 series. So what did you say? 2019? Yes. Yeah, 2019. Oh, something sold. Uh, ooh, what has to have sold? So lovely and clean um, and just absolutely wonderful inside as well so a Louis Vuitton document. oh amazing oh that is such a good buy though isn't it thank that's you. sold thank you very much let us know who bought it if you want to make step forward if you want to make yourself known if it's your first purchase do let us know um and actually anybody who's watching us for the very first time do let us know we'll definitely uh, welcome you and say hi so, in terms of how to wear this bag, you can wear it single, single strap like this, or you can wear it as a high cross, which is fun. It's I cool, isn't that. it? It's just so unusual to get. It sounds like, like a summer, spring, summer color. Yeah, it's just so unusual to get a color this, this bright and vibrant, vibrant, or you can wear it over the shoulder. Um, this is the 10 inch medium size. The condition is very good. And the price of this is £4,700, which is US dollars it, And it includes all your duties and customs included. Uh, thank you. It doesn't have a card liter. It does come with its original series sticker. It comes with its dust bag and it also comes with its original box. But we will provide the luxury promise. Yes, so but we will. Yeah, so we will provide you with our um, complimentary luxury promise authenticity card. So if you like the look of this bag, all you need to do is just tap on that icon. Great color. Everyone's just saying lovely. I love this color. Yeah. And pinks are so like really. pinks and beige. <laughs> this is so hard to combine. I like know. Pinks and beige, there's two colors. I think like the unicorns. Yeah, it looks uh, against the white. It looks really fun. Can I try? It? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you for complimenting my razor. Um, I actually took it from oh, someone's okay. chair. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Just say thank on. you. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I might have to get this. 
Well, I know who's dragging this. Like, with mine now. <laughs> <laughs> let's see on, on you. you. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I love pink. I don't have any pinks, actually. Oh, really? I yes. thought you would. Uh, when I was you're younger. Because you're quite feminine. Because <laughs> you're quite feminine, so... But I love how it... I love... Like, 10 inch is my perfect size yeah. of the bag. I and it's just so it nice. I love the waist. Yeah. Just look how stunning it is. Yeah. Do you, compared to a nine inch, you think ten inch is a good like good for size? me? I think it's a better size. It has more fit to it. Yeah, like you can actually fit more items. Definitely. And I like how it opens. Like nine inch is a little bit maybe too narrow. For yeah, me. but for like my and I think for ten inch, it's a good everyday use yeah. size, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Oh, I think it's Barney's jacket evening. Oh, <laughs> Barney, thank, 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 thank you. I will return your jacket. <laughs> So this bag is available. Just there. Yeah. And the icon is here. Okay, yeah. let's do some jewellery. Let's do some jewellery. I think mean, you should choose something. I should choose. Yeah. Okay. I would go... I should do this one. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, maybe like you I should choose, choose. sorry. I'll oh, no, no, pick no, this no. one. <laughs> I'm being really bossy. <laughs> okay. AWL3486. So, I love bracelets. I love bangles. Especially... But <laughs> I can't. I can't. she can. No, I can't. I bet you can. You get it. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can open it. No? Yeah! yeah. I'm in? Yay. Yes. Now it's never coming off. <laughs> it's coming it's off cool. with my hands. Don't tell me somebody gets it now. <laughs> Just look how stunning. Oh my gosh. I like I like that it's cut out. It's like yeah. it's just chunky, but it's so feminine. At the this same time. cuff is oh, wow. everything. I love cuffs. Like, you know, yeah. I love chunky bracelets. I actually have this cuff at home. I haven't you worn do? it in a while. Yeah. Wow. And it was actually my very, 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 very first vintage so um, investment. What? So, yeah. Time to bust it. I know. And this is, this is in much better condition this than is my one. Actually, I'd say this is quite a unique one because you normally get like the chunky quilted designs. You get like they would be full of gold, but now you have the cut out style. That's you have what the I like. CC yeah. logo. And it doesn't look like too overpowering. Yes. But you still look like you know it's Chanel. Yeah. But it doesn't look like too much. Exactly. Oh, just I just like... love it. And, and also, like um, we were saying, because it's an open cuff, it's actually malleable, so you can actually adjust accordingly to your wrist size. So yeah. um, I'd say it's like comfortably 16, maybe? Yeah. 16, so 16, 16, which is 8 centimeters diameter in inches. It is. And I managed to take it off. Look, yeah. somebody will so be lucky by it. It is three inches across. Three inches. Yeah. Okay. What year is it? So Anna? it is 94, 94 spring. Just look how amazing this is. Very beautiful. And you get the hallmark right here 94P, P for print terms for spring. And the condition is stunning. I don't see any actually. In this no, wear no I don't all. see no I don't see any wear. There's like no um damage to the gold plating, twenty-four karat gold gilded. Just look how amazing this is. I yeah. really love it. It is this gorgeous. is this is a stunning piece. Like yeah. I would I I I wouldn't expect like a cutout style. I would expect like a chunky one, but this is something unique. In terms of rarity, how hard is it to get these sort of cuffs like, in this condition? I would say the bracelets by itself, like the vintage one, which ha which have like the, just the chunk of metal, are quite rare to come by. But also this style, I have never seen this style. No. I'd say this is so unique. You 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 do have this logo it, like a brooch. Yeah, we've got the brooch. We do we do yeah. have it as a necklace, but to come by a bracelet, this is quite rare. Yeah. So do you, you know the bracelet we've got in stock? Do you think that's all part of this? Must be part of the same collection. I think it is. Yeah, you know, because Chanel introduced like the sets. Yeah, like, they have um, the earrings, earrings the necklaces, brooch. brooch, everything. So because so even the width, the, the style, the, the way it's the yeah, it looks exactly the same. So we have the price for this one. It's one thousand six hundred pounds or one thousand nine hundred sixty-eight US dollars, and it's available right here at the icon. So all, that's all you need to do is just tap on that icon. I think one thousand six hundred is it's a, a very really, good price. Really good price, easily in excess of eighteen hundred pounds on other resellers. I'd say even more, or even four, more. Yes, for or in the two K between sixteen hundred, uh, eighteen hundred to two thousand pounds. And if you have this brush, or if you have same necklace, like I think we had in one of our shows, just yeah. to see like a smaller one. 
you need to have a set like yeah. if you have a set like the collectors would know if you have a full set the price and the value of the set goes high mm -hmm. up so if you're collecting get this yeah so it's available to purchase the price again is 1600 pounds which is 1968 US dollars and it includes all your customs and duties. So now we're on the theme of Chanel and we have over 130 people. We have to bring out the Elizabeth you Taylor. Do. Okay. I get the pictures, you yes. do. Yes. So we have what we call the Elizabeth Taylor set. Ooh, yes. yes. It comes with its original box and these earrings are incredible. I know. Anything when it comes to collecting on the resale market, there's two things you've got to look for. It's got to be gold, it's got to be in very excellent condition, if not you know, very good condition. And one thing when it comes to earrings, it has to have that big CC. And we've called this the Elizabeth Taylor earrings because we'll show you the reference. So she was wearing this in the movie in it's 1986, called, yeah, 1986, and I think it's called um. They have a pony? Something, or about, something. The pony. Yeah, something, <laughs> something about, about the pony. Yeah, something about the pony. Yeah. So every collector would know yeah. that this is like the highlight. It is iconic. Absolutely iconic. I can see lots of hearts going. So yes, in terms of... Uh, maybe you put them on because you've got your earrings. For sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here for it. Right? No, I... I'm not here. Yeah. It is incredible. I love this. Oh my gosh, they look amazing on you, Elena. Shall oh, I get them? Yes. <laughs> Look, look how amazing they are. These are these are actually very nice. So they also come with like the, the cushion, um, the comfort pad, and they are signed Chanel. So this signature is corresponding to the eighties uh, and maybe some. And what makes these 90s. special? That class where it's signed Chanel, that is original because uh, we have seen some aftermarket care where the clip has the fallen. clip could be yeah, yes. could be replaced due to whatever reason, but this is all original condition, has no wear, amazing gilding, all original 24 karat gold. They look beautiful. I know. They look I love it is, They're just like, you know, the scene on celebrities, well, of course we've just seen there on Elizabeth Taylor in the movie um, in 1986. They've been seen on Beyonce or the Kardashians. Highly, highly collectible. Oops. And we will. <laughs> And we will. What have you dropped? Sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> is it in oh between God, your? The, so it looks like the comfort pad has actually slid down uh, Elena's top. So we'll find that in a minute. <laughs> but the um, gold gilding is in excellent condition. It's signed a Chanel. You can see the Chanel logo here, and. No wear at all, Dipti. None that I can see. No tarnish, and that's the first one, and I'll show this one. And no tarnish to this one as well. Yes, they look so good with the earrings and Shall the cuffs. Flip this? <gasps> what? Someone said uh, they look so good with the earring cuff together. So maybe you put that on and the oh, cuff as well. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so you can look oh. more stunning than Liz. Ah, oh, yes, I agree. Hopefully, no, I will yes. not lose this thing again. <laughs> Put that one and I'll give you the cuff. Let's, let's Chanel you up, Elena. Okay, let's Chanel me up. Yeah. I'm going to dress you up. you up. Oh, wow, we have the price. Nine, 1900. Yeah. Um, 1,995 uh, pounds or 2,454 US dollars. And it's available right here. And actually, I would expect this to be like 2,500 for these clips. And I'm surprised that Rachel has this price. Yeah, it is. Is it the winnie price? It's a winnie price. Yeah. Just look. That's the benefits of watching our oh, show. We actually need a necklace now. I, yeah. I feel like I need a necklace. Did we sell the necklace? I don't know. We, I have a feeling it was sold. Otherwise, I, think, I would I go run down and get the necklace. Just so look. you got the whole matching. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Rachel, doesn't it look good? Hang on, I can't see from the side. <laughs> Yeah, it looks so Very good. Cool. Oh my god. I love this. Yes. 
So it's available to purchase. All you need to do, if you want to get the whole, I mean, somebody has to get the whole three set there. That pink bag, <laughs> that cuff and the earring, you'll be rocking that Chanel look. And you know, no one else will have that look as well, which makes vintage more fun and unique. Everyone say you look like a million dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, I know. Yeah, Elena <laughs> is ready for a night out, definitely. So, let I'm me... keeping this for now until somebody buys them. Yeah, keep them on. Somebody will ask for it. Um, shall I do... Let's do... I like this one. Let's one? do the small one. This one? Yes, this one. Yeah, this is really cute. Another cute... I think those earrings have some. Do I have to take them off? Oh, Please tell me no. Yep, they've gone. Oh my God. That's Thank you my so heart. much. Oh, that's amazing. I'm Who bought them? Who got them? Who got them? <laughs> Sabrina's going, they sold! <laughs> oh my gosh, so whoever has bought them, please, please let us know. Congratulations. They are an amazing pair of earrings. This is not only an amazing pair of earrings, this is an amazing investment as well. Yes, exactly. Cool, Thank you so cool much. vintage. What is this so, bag? Yes, so, so bag, uh, the box is just yeah. here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Elena. So, Let's do something really cute and dinky. Look at this adorable vintage Chanel evening bag. It is so, so cute. It's the most incredible condition. It's crafted from lambskin leather. It has the gold tone hardware and it has that beautiful matte lasse um, diamond quilting. And to touch this bag is in, I mean, lambskin is like the silks of leather. It's incredibly buttery soft. You can see that beautiful buttery sheen and it has that li lovely um, light puffiness to it, which um, vintage collectors love. Um, it has a little top handle with a little single flap and a single uh, CC turnstile lock. It is such a cute, cute bag. And it shows uh, it has the light wear to the bottom of the bag. Um, overall in good, clean condition. And inside it is nice and clean uh the there is no tarnish actually i can show you one more time there is no tarnish all the original gilding is there oh dipty bought them amazing <laughs> double salt yeah <laughs> So no tarnish, and it comes with this original box as well. Um, we will confirm actually rate uh, a dip tea, so um, just bear with us. Um, so, cute little handbag, you could just about wear it over the shoulder, but it's more like an evening bag. Has a cute little turnstile lock, the turnstile lock is so adorable. And it includes a Chanel dust bag. And when it comes to uh, when we're mentioning the Luxury Promise Authenticity card, this is example what it looks like. Nice and clean inside and has a little internal zip pocket. This is a four series. It's got the original, uh, yeah, 90, 96 to 97. And it has the original serial sticker in shape uh, in intact. And just as in a cute little evening bag, it I is love this so much. It's such and a actually, cute actually, bag. And actually, what I would do, I would yeah. take the 10, uh, 10 inch bag and I will put this through the... Do we have a 10 inch bag? No, we don't uh, have, we have this, one. for example. I would put this through the chain and I would wear it as a double bag. Like, or you take another, like a bigger bag. That is ingenious. That like, would obviously really, not yeah, big, yeah, but, yeah, but that like, would work. You can get, like... That really, really is cute. It's so, so cute. I love this tiny. It's like it's, I know, it's, it's so nice. I mean, it's just so unusual, mm -hmm. isn't it? Just a cute little bag. So let me just show you the condition before we uh, reveal the price. The hardware is in excellent condition, no tarnish. Has the original 24 karat gold gilding. And lovely um, condition on the turnstile. Uh, lock as well. So the bag has just popped up and the price of this oh. 
is coming up. It is £2,900, which is 3567 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duty. I this, love how it looks. Yeah. To scale, this is what it looks like on me, and I would wear it as an evening bag. Or if you're going to a wedding or a special occasion this summer, this is the perfect size. In terms of what you can fit in, let me just quickly demonstrate. You can definitely put in your latest iPhone 13 in here. You put it and in. Maybe the, across. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just about put it in there in um, sort of portrait size and slightly across, and you can able to uh, close the bag. We yeah. seem to be able to sort another pair of those earrings. We will do that, don't worry. Um, did they double sell? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we will. Um, was it Dipti who? Yeah. So Dipti, we'll keep an eye out for you. We'll give you, um, yeah, we'll give you first dibs on the second pair if we ever come across in the same sort of price point as well. So don't worry. So, yeah. Right. Uh, more, you choose something? You want choose I want to choose this beauty. This one? Yes. <gasps> the weight bag. The weight bag, yes. This is beautiful. Look, guys, it comes with the original box and the original paperwork. The paper, look at that beautiful tissue paper with the little sticker inside. It's almost like a time capsule in here with the lined tissue paper. I just love how it looks because this is not just the standard quilted bag which we all love and know. This is the wave bag. It like it has the chevron detailing in the wave type. This lovely 24 karat gold gilded uh, turn lock which is also signed here and the combination of the gold plated hardware with the beige color is just amazing. And look how amazing this back pocket is. It has like oh, also the wave shape. It's so clever. It's the like, way it's almost you would, You wouldn't even tell yeah. that it has a back pocket. I love pocket. that detail. Look. And the inside is so clean. Let me check the inside of the back. I think it's a single flap. Yes, yeah. it's a single flap. So signed Chanel, CC logo. Authenticity card by Luxury Promise. Let me check if it has the authentic authenticity card. No, it doesn't have the authenticity card, but it comes with the sticker. And the sticker is, what is it? Is it zero series? Uh -huh. Oh, it's a zero series. Yeah. Wow, that's the very first one. Yeah. So that would be 1986 to 88. But the condition is, it's like new. Yeah. It's like that's the corners. Yeah. Yeah, like I just said, like um, just look. Later. There is nowhere to the cross. Like oh, wow, paperwork, the paperwork, the original paperwork, and the little <gasps> sticker. Oh wow! So it's almost like a time capsule. Like it's never. I think it has been. Oh wow! Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Just look. The corners are pristine. There is absolutely nowhere to the corners. There is just tiny, tiny mark on the base, but overall there is no color transfer. Nothing. It looks like li it literally looks like new. Yeah, it's incredible. And I'm gonna try this. Uh, it move on the thing. Um, let me try like this, for example. It's definitely a shoulder bag. It's such a cool. Piece. This yeah. is amazing. Like I love it. I love the wave detail, like the wavy um, quilting. It just makes it so unusual. In terms of size, it looks like it's equivalent to a ten-inch mm -hmm. classic. We've had this once before in black, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. but not in bed. Yeah, it's 10, 10 inch. inch. So 10 inch medium. It's so beautiful. We'll have to take the uh, ski off. Teresa's yeah. asking, does it go cross body? I will try. Oh. Just a second, please. Yeah. I will try. But I think it will be really tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like quite a short drop. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> no. Unless you want to wear it around you. Like a bum bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the drop look is It goes as a necklace. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in terms of the drop, it is about 14 inches from the shoulder. 36 so, centimeters, 35, I would say. Yeah, the condition is the incredible. The condition is in, it's like impeccable. And from what I can feel, it's all original, it hasn't been color retouched at all. Do you think so. it's lambskin? Yeah, it's, it's lambskin. Lamb skin. Yeah, it is so lamb do skin. we have the price for that? Oh, wow. The price is three thousand five hundred pounds or four thousand three hundred five US dollars, and that's available right here at the icon. And it comes with the old vintage 
uh, tissue paper and the box. The original box as well. The sticker is inside and you will get a luxury promise authenticity card. Yeah. And this is a Zero series from 1986. First, this is the first one they started doing the uh, stickers. Yeah, this first example of a serialization. So from 1986 to 88. Anyone born in 1986 or 88 on the show? Do let us know. No, we're older. <laughs> Like, Shut up. I'm not now, talking <laughs> of looking. age, let's see if anyone. Let's go, let's do this. Let's yeah. do this. Let's do it age. So we have this is incredible. A vintage Kelly. This is a size 32. Uh, Sandy, I was bought in 1986, unfortunately. Better than me. Uh, oh, Beth, my God. What the age of this? I know. So talking about age, you guess the age of this item as we are talking. So yeah, get, yeah, yeah, just guess it. Just write down what you think this age is, which is it, amazing. The year. The year. The year. The year of this item. Um, this is a vintage Kelly uh, with the twelve canvas and a box calf leather. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Um, it is a pre-owned item. There is some slight wear to the handles, but I actually love this com com combination of um, twirl and leather. And this is actually a navy leather with gold tone hardware. Is this a navy? Oh wow, yeah. it's a navy one. So someone's guessing it's 1983 and somebody's saying 1970s. It's even earlier. It is- We have Kel, 56. Yeah. Uh, 59. We, Actually, Sophio is correct. This is from 1959, which is incredible. Now, the vintage, the very, the very first few vintage Kellys were box calf, as well as there was a mixture of box calf and twelve, and it was the personal favourite of the late Grace Kelly. Let's show the reference. So this is Grace Kelly here in 19. I think this might be 1957. This image, and she has a. Um, uh, a vintage Kelly in the twirl and leather, a box calf yes, leather combination. combination. She had, I think her favourite go-to size was between the 32 and the 35. Think 35. She yeah. had big. She also size. had the 40, I think, maybe. I think so. She had the one because she used the massive one. One to, to hold her, oh. yeah, to cover her baby bump, yes. So this is incredible, 1959. I mean, that is the wonderful thing about um, luxury heritage brands. Um, you can see why it has lasted this long. It's the craftsmanship is like, the last thing I got was, uh, right, Queen Bee will talk about her um, necklace that she bought recently. It is amazing. And this is why I think uh, we covered um, these luxury brands, these amazing oh. handbags because they last the test of time. Okay. It's all about the... Ah, oh, amazing! The Whoa, vintage. Who got the beige bag? Who got the beige bag? Congratulations! You've got such an incredible price, and it's such an incredible. Like I said, it's like a time capsule, isn't it? It is. Yeah, especially with the vintage uh, original tissue paper. Especially you get the stickers as well. Like, yeah. I like the stickers. I know. Like the Do they still make those stickers? Same. Yeah, no, they're I think it's slightly I different now, aren't they? Yeah, it's not the gold foil ones. No, I don't think they're gold. I don't think they actually close because it's a magnetic closure now. Yeah. With the bags. So, Winnie, can I see the inside, please, and the stamping? I'm particularly about the I'm particular about the font. Yes, of course. So, I'll just quickly. This is an older item. There are some signs of wear. Um, uh, we recently had the corners. Um, it was actually breaking, but we've had that repaired. So this is all nice and repaired now. Um, however, everywhere else, we try not to play around with it too much. We try to leave it in original condition as, we, as it were. Uh, there is some dryness to the handle and it's slightly quick, uh, cracking. Uh, but actually, durability wise, it's in great condition. You can still use low, you know, still in good durable condition. Comes with the padlock and key and clochette. Uh, yes, I can show you. It is an O stamp, it's very faint just there on the tip, and you can see the gold tone hardware. And the older models, this is, this is the font for the uh, pre-1970s version, the, the Hermes and Paris. And uh, you can see there's the Sanglais and the little turnstile lock there. No, um, early, early models didn't actually have shoulder straps yet. I think it was introduced much later. 
because so the the D ring is slightly different because yeah. I think it's almost like a V shape, but this one's just the original D ring there, and it is fairly nice and clean inside with lots of compartments and um, pockets as well. So that is the vintage. Is it's navy, Abby, navy. So the price of this um, twelve and. Uh, Kelly canvas in the 32 is £5,800, which is 7134 US dollars. How does it look on you? Let's hold it to scale. And this is a 32. 32? Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's a good size. 32 is my favourite. Yeah, it's actually, I think 32 is a decent size. 28 like can be slightly bags. a bit too small. 25 is too small for me. feel like dressy bags, so like nights out. Yeah. This is quite roomy, I would say. It, it would fit like a lot. What yeah. you need for the Definitely. riding currents. I love this size. Oh, it looks so And chic. I like that it's like, you know, not too formal. Yeah. It's like with the canvas, you have... It just makes it... Yeah, yeah. you can wear it with, with everything. Actually, you look cute in the summer in the canvas. Mm -hmm. Imagine with a summery dress and your orans. And a bit of the trench coat. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, this one. And in terms of the twirl, uh, the twirl appears to be in good clean condition. Uh, very minimal wear along, just light wear and light wear along the bottom. Corners in good condition, but has some heavy usage on the handles. Just to be aware there is some light cracking on the handles, but um, it's overall. just for aesthetics, you can put a twilly around it. Yes, exactly. Well, I think a twilly should definitely go on it. Yeah, so uh, good idea, Rachel. So Rachel suggested if that you want to protect the handles, you can just add a twilly. Imagine the twilly with this. That would really, be really elegant, pretty. Yeah. yeah, in the right sort of complementary colours. That looks so capri. San, San Tropez oh, in the summer. Yeah, that's quite cute. But quite I know, pretty. I was going to say it. <laughs> This jacket goes with everything. Barney, I'm going to lick this jacket off you if you're still on here. Although I do have to open the vent on the back because that drives me crazy. <laughs> so yeah, this actually, Kelly is, is available to purchase. All you need to do is just tap on that icon there. Ah. Look, so... What other bags? Let's do some shoe on shoe. These earrings are earrings. Yeah, and we'll do some quite the quart. Okay, so... You know we love vintage jewellery, not only Chanel, but we try to um, search for other brands, like we, we really love Celine and Givenchy, and also the Givenchy earrings are very, very comfortable. So this is a pair of like a door knocker style, I yeah. would say, like the, so basically you get the clip, let me just take this off, you get the pad as well. And then this is the dangling part, and I just love how they sit on an earlobe. Let me try this. I think these are so elegant. How do you think, you Rachel? This cute? Rachel? Mm -mm. Sorry, I'm just distracted looking at the earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I'm wearing them. <laughs> I'm watching you through the screen. Oh, I see. I love them. They look amazing. They look like they're amazing. And they're like qu quite delicate. So you get like a flower detailing on the top and then the, of course, gold plated metal. Yeah. And, and it's... And it, also they come with the uh, Givenchy tag. I would say the gold, it's not shiny gold. It's like a matte gold. A matte, gold. matte yeah. gold, yes. But it's quite... The design, yeah. It, I think it actually reminds me of like antiquity, like Romanesque Oh, actually, style. yes. I completely agree. Yeah, the, the style, it looks almost like Romanesque or, um, I don't know, like has an... Greek, 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 Greek. Yeah, oh, actually, I'm wearing how to... white. Right yeah, now. Like, yeah. Just look how amazing. These are just so beautiful. And how do they feel? Do they, feel they feel comfortable. They're absolutely not heavy. Mm -hmm. And you have the comfort pad also, but you can change it to another one if you don't like this one. And what year do you think these are from? These are from the 80s. So the stamp is uh, Givenchy Anagram, and then you get Paris, New York. So the round stamp, that's from the 80s. So how can you tell it's from the 80s? Because it says Paris and New so York. So this, this stamp was was in the 80s and then the 90s, I think, should be the oval one with just the Givenchy. Oh, and the Paris and New York is removed. It could be on the clip. It could be removed. So just, yeah. yeah. So this is the vintage one. And also this is the early stamping. So these are quite rare to come by. No, it's <laughs> Thank incredible. you, Beth. She says the bigger earrings really suit me. I, should actually, I have like a 
like huge hoops. I should maybe maybe try and wear them on Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I love hoops. I like bigger the better. <laughs> so yeah. do we have the price for this one? Can I try one on? Yeah, sure. Oh, I like all the time trying. Because they look great on you. Oh, they're really nice. They are very nice. And I like this flowering detailing here. Yeah. I just like the fact that they're so elegant. So these Givenchy earrings uh, are only £275, which is 338 US dollars. It is a great price, Noma. And it comes with its original um, Givenchy uh, uh, packaging as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Not as good as Elena. Oh, come on. There's something about Elena and Sabrina can really rock earrings. Like, they can put like a stone on their ear and it looks great. And I put it on and I'm like, oh, uh. You're just being <laughs> modest. She just needs more compliments. <laughs> Asking for it. Uh, thank you. So they're available to purchase. All you need to do is just tap on the icon and it includes all your um, duties and customers if you are shopping from outside the UK. So, right. <laughs> let's move on to let's do some lacroix. La do we have to, oh no we have a few let's yeah. do this one and then yeah. yeah we have i mean we love vintage chanel uh, but we also love other brands as well and we must not forget other really important brands such as christian lacroix so that is christian lacroix love this two types it's almost like three types mm, of cute. chain if you look at it closely it has like this a different type yeah of chain. Oh, this is so clever these tiny little beads followed by a rope chain, followed by a Rolo chain here. So it's almost like four different types of chain here. And this is the Le Croix. So Christian Le Croix um, was, um, I think initially worked for, I can't remember the he name. He wanted to become a museum curator and he was studying history of costume and also like uh, Gucci earrings. Uh, uh, she won, she won. Oh, congratulations. Oh. That is them. amazing. Who bought them? This is stunning. Yes. <laughs> so he, yes, he wanted to become a museum curator and he was actually drawing and uh, studying the costume design. And then he opened his uh, clothing br brand in 19, I think, 86. 86. Oh, 86. And then in 1989, he introduced the accessories and the jewelry. So, so. he's very famous for like his style is like I don't know even how to explain like it. Eclectic or yeah, he's very known for his opulence, opulence and very yes. theatrical. He actually collaborated with a lot of theatre productions. You know, um, he designed the um, the form for Air France stewardess, and also ooh. the first class. Yes, the first class passengers of Air France would get the like is it the ninety or whatever <gasps> they give you with his signature in there. I'm not sure if it's like right now, but it was. Imagine coming across a vintage version of that. Oh my gosh, that might be worth something. That is so, so cool. He, when you see the Lacroix designs, you would instantly know it's him. He has a lot of hearts, stars, crosses, yes. like um, a sun with a smile. Yeah, so very, the very, are very, very recognizable. Yeah, very, very theatrical. Um, he was actually, when he first launched, he was actually backed by LVMH, which really propelled mm. his brand. However, sadly, in 2000, 2009 the business kind of um sort of doubled down and, and, and wound down and they do a, a really question Lacroix now focuses on collaboration but the height of its fame was late 90s early 2000 of course by the tv show do you remember the tv show absolutely fabulous yeah no yeah. idea what that is yeah but, you know yeah yeah but, um, absolutely fabulous um jennifer saunders character Famously wore a Christian Lacroix head to toe. It was the brand. Oh, yeah, because she was like Lacroix, darling. Yeah, it's Lacroix, Lacroix, sweetie. It's Lacroix. That's how what they spoke of, and it was the height of opulence and everything sort of OTT fashion. <laughs> so we have this lovely Lacroix um, uh, necklace here. And it features Lacroix, uh, Christian Lacroix logo. And I just love the different styles of chain on one chain here. Ab fab, that's the show. I love, oh, thank you, Olivia. Everyone likes our little rambling. Sorry, we just go on and on and on. <laughs> we just can't help it. Yeah. So. Ah, yes, Lacroix, sweetie. She said Lacroix, sweetie. Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is nice length. Yes, it's, it's a lovely. really, really and cute you get the length. C L C L uh, there. initials there. Now, when it comes to costume jewelry collecting, <clears throat> Lacroix in the last couple of years 
have actually become very, very, very collectible. Last year, last year, it was literally sold out. It was impossible. I don't know what happened, what was the hike in, in the market, but literally everything was sold out. Impossible to get. The price was, I think, tripled. Mm. So, exactly. It's a mystery. It is the same. He, it's the, they, they, he uses the same manufacturers as um, YSL, Moschino, Sonia Riquel, even Chanel. <laughs> so, you've got that sort of like, um, sort of bling bling look, um, which is what uh, Le Croix is known for. But this is so. actually quite like modest example. Yeah. It's so actually quite discreet. It is. Yeah. It is. So yeah. you just get his signature. He normally signs the jewelry with this CL yeah. on the metal plate, and it would say Christian Lacroix France or Made in France. But this is actually his signature. Yes. Yes. So the condition of this is excellent. I'm actually get the metal plaque here. Yeah, well. and you can see the metal plaque here. And one thing I need to uh, mention that why <coughs> Lacroix is also important in terms of historical fashion, fish, uh, uh, fashion, it's because he also invented the puffball skirt. So um, that was his invention. So you can thank the 80s for that. Puffball skirts and leggings. So excellent condition. And this price is £395, and, which is $485 US dollars. And it's available to shop right there if you love a bit of La Croix. It's a great stackable piece. Like, yeah. Because it's so discreet, you can wear something else. Even with that logo, I think the chain is... But can you take the logo? No, no you, you can't. can't. But I just think the chain is so interesting. If your initials is CL, you need this. Yeah. <laughs> I think the chain is, it's a T-bar closure, uh, 24 karat gold gilding, no tarnish, a great collectible piece. Let's do that one yes. then. And to compare the previous piece, this is what I'm talking about, the hearts. Like, this is what you get with La Croix. You get this resin with the same CL signature in the middle, on the rope um, this necklace. Is really this is time. Nice. This is what this is what he's all about. Yeah. You will get the CL and then this. Very ornate. How do you name this? Like um, the, not the asterisk, but what is it like? It's it's like an asterisk. Asterisk detail yeah. you can meet in his um, jewelry designs, and this has a hook closure, which is actually um, you have like two, so you can wear it a little bit shorter. I think this is lovely. Amazing. I love, I, I love the, the resin. I love, yeah, and, and I love combination the combination with the rope. Um, yeah, it's not a chain, like a rope. What is uh, it? It's like a, almost like a silk. Yes. So this finish. is actually the shortest you can wear. It gives me like nautical vibes. Yeah, you know, yeah, you can, yeah, Because of the rope, and I just love the skull. Oh, this color is amazing. Yeah. It's like an amber. Yeah, no, it's, it's like an amber. amber resin, definitely. <clears throat> And it has like a mixed resin inside, so it gives a yes. really like three D effect. So this is this is the you would recognize instantly if you know Christian Lacroix, so you would expect the heart and yeah. this design. So um, do we have a price for this one, Rachel? Yeah, I'm just going to roll it up. Let me just show you. And this is the see through part, which actually I think. In the sun, it would look stunning. You know mm. when the sun will reflect from it? It will look absolutely amazing. And it's nice length on you. It just sits on your collarbone. Mm. Yes, yeah, so you can wear it a little bit longer, I think. But overall, it's not really adjustable. We have just... This is, this is the longest one. And then a little bit shorter. But I think you can actually tie as a bow instead of using the hook, probably. Yeah. I think I need help. Oh, no, do you? No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. And the condition is amazing. So there is no tear to the rope. The resin part has no crackles on anything. And also the gold plating metal is in mint condition. I love this part. Like, yeah. I love the detailing. Just look, you get the chain here, then you get the two rings. The rope and the amazing I mean, the detail on here is just it's beautiful. stunning. Do yeah. try it. I think it looks yeah. good on you. Thank you. So the item is <clears> up. <throat> and shall we maybe stack them both? Mm. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, this is so cool. Let me try this. Yeah. I'm going to stack pieces. <laughs> So we've got the two items stacking up 
I've got La Croix, sweetie, on. <laughs> so the necklace mm. is... Uh, Rope necklace is also £395. This is a very good price. £485 US dollars. Actually, together, they're quite cool, aren't they? I love this. Yeah. It's such a sweet piece. I've got a heart and an initial on my stack too. Yeah, <laughs> you do. That's cool. So if you want to... Uh, who's Secret Slapper? What? what? Secret Shopper? <laughs> no, Oh, okay. But I don't know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so I just love all these handle names that you guys come up with. <laughs> yeah. So if you want <clears throat> to purchase this item, all you need to do is just uh, tap on that bottom icon. It's three hundred ninety-five pounds, which is four hundred eighty-four US dollars, and it includes all your customs and duties as well. So. Let's move You're giving on. Them, I can yeah, I'm gonna keep them on. I like the heart. It actually feels really comfortable. I want to do something. I, yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to show this piece for a while. Yeah. But now I'm gonna show this. Yeah. So this oh. here. Yes, I know. This piece yes. is. I just saw this. ASL here. two zero seven zero. So this piece, not only it comes in silver, which is by quite itself so, quite, quite rare. unusual, right? This is unusual, but <gasps> this is. This I know. Ah. This is the gripoir. Uh, necklace so it has different stones in here like I would say this is like a pas de verre or like actually I'd say these are stones mm. uh, with different colors you get the like a violet one the um, is it a moonstone no it's not a moonstone it's like no. the white one and in the middle you get this uh, purple one so it has the CC logo on the other side and just look at this amazing detailing here. It has tiny uh, flower and the CC logo with the stones as well. And the chain by itself. I, the chain is, this is, is incredible. This is incredible. The yeah. chain is so rare. So this is signed on the uh, end and the collection is 2012 full collection. Just let me try this on for you. I love silver. It's like this is so, so rare. And it also is adjustable. So this is how it would sit on the, um, I think it's on the shorter one. And let me try for a longer one. And actually you can, I think you can easily double wrap this. I will try or maybe not. Do you think I can double wrap it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yes, we can double wrap it. And each link has like a hammered detailing. Just look at the links. It has like a hammer detailing over here and here and this amazing pendant. Actually, I prefer it double wrapped. Oh, that, that looks, looks so nice, double wrapped. This is stunning. I like the way that the uh, camellia flower is just on its side. Yes. Yeah. Maybe, no. Yeah, I think so. Not for my size. <laughs> yeah, you can. No. I can't close it. But obviously, if you're yeah. up to eight, or I think eight would be mm -hmm. more comfortable. But just look at the detailing. How so amazing. What year is this piece? This is 2012. Really? Yes, it, it looks, looks like not, vintage. Yeah, it looks older than 2012. But this is such a rare item. So like what everything collection was in 2012? Was that the way they were doing <clears throat> the icebergs? Was it? Do you know which one to talk about? The iceberg, the ice cube? collection actually it could be because it has that like, glacier look to it it does have yeah sabrina took my book i oh, know <laughs> sabrina if you're watching i need my book we back. need our reference we need it back. <laughs> <laughs> guys this is amazing can we have a prize for this mm -hmm. i just love this yeah i love the cc logo on the back as well you can actually wear it double-sided, like you can wear with the CC. Yeah, you can. Oh, wow, it's only £1,350 or £1,600. That really That's an amazing price. Uh, 1660 US dollars, and it's available right here. Actually, I think it's like semi-precious stones. You don't think it's gripoire? Uh, you think it's I actual? think it's either I think it's either stones or pas de verre, because like it's it's not... You know, Grippo has to be poured into yeah. it. I think it's like the cabochon. Oh, yeah, because oh, actually... Pas de verre. Pas de verre, it's uh, melted glass. It's like... you. Is that different to 
Correct. It's basically the same. It's just the method of. Uh, because the the pas de verre, the, the shapes are not the symmetrical. They're not perfect. It They're kind of organic. Also. Yeah. Okay. Which gives oh, a charm. Poor, poor glass. Yeah, which gives it a certain charm that the fact they're not symmetrical. I like that they're yeah. not. Yeah, you, you you get the symmetry from uh, the colors. Yeah, but the shape is slightly different. This is so unique. Yeah, this is very it. unique, and in silver as well. And also, you get this tiny like one. That. The, the the clover. Just like the way they just added a little flower on the side. Yeah. I'll go on and have an extra flower on mm. me. <laughs> and the price is stunning. Shall yeah. me, shall I flip the screen for the colors of yeah. the? Just look. This is amazing and they just shine and they're so nice there are no crackles n nothing they just literally mint condition look this is what you get and also the other side as well okay so it's available right here at the icon so let's move mm -hmm. on to some quick small leather goods mm -hmm. so earlier on I had shown you the little coin purse which was 113 pounds you could also get a complete set with these two other little purses as well. So I'm just going to start with the little pouch here. Um, it's part of the same set, but they're sold separately. Lovely condition. Um, features the honeycomb design uh, with uh, the treated exterior PVC leather, um, exterior with leather trims, and it has the gold tone Dior logo on the outside. Um, really cute little pouch. Um, ideal for putting in cards. Um, for example, I've just in here it's got the Luxury Promise Authenticity card. So definitely good pouch size for your cards. Um, there's even a little um, secret compartment here if you want to put maybe something to put your business cards in as well. And it's very slim fitting, so it will fit very comfortably in any of your existing handbags. Um, very, very useful. And you can even put your compact mirror in there if you want to keep your mirror away from the, you know, and protect the interior of your bag. Lovely condition. Uh, what year is, I think this is 80s. 80s, uh, yeah, in the circuit 80s, maybe um, early 90s as well. So this little Dior vintage pouch, Pochette is 113 pounds, which is 139 US dollars, and it's available to purchase. It includes all your customs and duties. So in addition to this, we also have this slightly sort of elongated version just here. And this one is also a great um, condition piece, slightly elongated, um, and it acts as a, I would say like a, um, what, a cash wallet, right? A cash? Cash wallet? Yeah. Or so a wallet cover? A wallet cover. Yeah, it could be a wallet cover or you can put your cash in there or as well. Or you can well. put a notebook in there. Could be a notebook in there. It, it's just a really, really good handy co uh, notebook cover or cash cover in there. Has a little um, card compartment here. It is signed Christian Dior with a leather trim. The same um, treated canvas on the a PVC canvas on the outside with the Dior logo with light camel leather trims and it's lovely and clean with no wear or tear just slight pen mark there and it also has a pop lock closure should keep all your um, uh, contents uh, folded up inside as well and the price of this one will be shortly coming up show the condition one more time and, you have the price. and the price is also is 112 pounds 50 which is 130 50 and 50 pence <laughs> which is 138 <laughs> us uh, dollars and it's available to purchase just there so has the mini louis come up yet no, no? We, we will, will do it now it's coming for you up. Julie. yes it's coming up so we have the little micro speedy which is just here and it is like based on the speedy but this is tiny this is so cute it's so so cute what could you put in there probably this, you don't need to put anything in there no have you seen the blink empire no no so the, do you know what the blink yeah. empire so basically the second season is up yeah. and one of the 
ladies comes to the lunch with another one and she has this like innate, you know, the, the Fendi, like the tiny, tiny ones and they're starting to discuss what you can put inside. She's like, oh, oh I don't put anything inside. I just put the tissues or something to hold the shape. <laughs> so guys, you can you put, put tissue the in tissues there. in to hold the shape and that's all and you just walk around like Cute. this. <laughs> well, it's so mini and cute. You don't need to put anything inside it. So it features the fichette leather with the handles. It is the micro speedy. It is roughly 15 centimeters across, which is probably about like four or five inches across. Uh, based on the speedy, it uh, features the canvas treated exterior. It is so, so cute. Actually, I'm sure. I just, I just thought of something. So you what? know how people carry tiny dogs around? You can carry a hamster around. <laughs> you can actually maybe <laughs> clip this. Can you? Put this to the bigger like, Yes, so bigger uh, what we have seen and we have sold in the past, you can actually attach a um, clip, a clip. shoulder clip, yeah. and you can wear this as a crossbody style oh, bag. Wow. This one doesn't come with it. Or you can just get the shoulder strap from Louis Vuitton. Yeah, and, and you can add, add this. Yeah, oh, wow. exactly. Yeah. So this one comes with its original padlock and key, which is unusual. And it also comes with its uh, original dust bag as well. I do need to point out that the leather pull tab is missing, but you can still fully um, close the bag without having to use the pull tab as well. Overall, it's in good condition. This is such a cute bag. It's big such bag. a cute bag. Like you put the tiny one for your money and your cards when you go somewhere. Yes. So the price of this is £595, which is 731 US dollars. And it's available to purchase right there if you wish. If you just tap there, and it includes all your customs and duties as well. So let's move, let's quickly to show you the brown one. Yes, yeah, I, really like I love this bag. This is a double love, face, yes? Yeah, this is highly collectible, a double face vintage chanel bag what did sell and it features why it's called double face it's something the, the chanel ball the oh, the cuff ah ball. the cuff sole oh. congratulations who bought the cuff oh we if it's your first time purchase do let us know we'll welcome you to our community thank you very much for your purchase i'm sure it's going to a very stylish mama mm -hmm. so we have this wonderful very highly collectible double face classic flat bag uh it's all called um double face it's also called the siamese as well because they're joined at the hip what's it called <laughs> siamese you know like the siamese, twin. siamese twins yeah so um this is in beautiful condition i haven't seen this condition is such I a love long the time color. and the color is the chocolate brown yeah it's almost like dark toffee or chocolate brown yeah. all original um like milk chocolate color isn't it beautiful. it's beautiful uh original condition crafted from lambskin the uh very much minimal wear to the corners and to the back and front of the bag and the gold tone hardware is excellent it is absolutely gorgeous it is designed to have, it it's not, doesn't have a fixed chain. These style of bags uh, are fixed chains, they're not movable. So they really are designed to be worn as a shoulder bag. That is an amazing colour. It is, uh, I, I've, only, I ever, I've only ever seen this in, in black. black. Me too. Um, and red, I think I've seen one in red, but I've never seen this beautiful chocolate brown colour. And guys, it comes with a cereal sticker. Does um, it have a booklet? Yes, it has a booklet. Wow. It's a four series from 96 to 97. It comes with its original authenticity card and it comes with the care booklet. No, Lola, I'm afraid this is a fixed chain bag. You can't actually you can't. move it. So it is impossible to wear as a crossbody style bag. It's actually designed to be worn over the shoulder because of the double face Look design. how stunning it looks. With the lacroix. I've still got the lacroix on, am I? I? Do you have the other one too? No, it's oh, one. I took it off. Okay, yeah. you have the lacroix, you have this, and with all your outfit, this is Does just, it look? It looks stunning. With this outfit, it is literally perfect. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. perfect match. Oh. Thank, thank you, Barney. I'm <laughs> still going to go home yeah. with your jacket tonight. <laughs> so it has the Holy Grail, the booklet, the, booklet. The, the Chanel booklet, and why we love these Chanel booklets. 
These were actually included in vintage bags from the 80s and 90s. They are no longer in production. They do not hand these bags, these booklets out. And these are um, little, care yeah, care instructions on how to look after your bag. And one of the things that I love reading out is that the metal parts of your handbag are gilded with alloy containing 24 karat gold, which is sometimes sensitive to sea and air and the acidity of the skin and may eventually wear off. Cast chains and other metals can be regilded, so you can regild it with Chanel. So it's asking, please um, approach Chanel for an estimate. And another, um, another really, really, in, uh, uh, oh, greasy marks can be removed with unscented tal talcum powder. Sprinkle on the mark, uh, leave overnight, and brush off gently with a perfectly clean makeup brush. Oh, wow. Is that just just absolutely amazing? I just love that sort of like little um, information you get with these vintage bags. So, so that is compartment one. So it mirrors the same on the other side. It's a single flat bag. Comes with its serial sticker, card and care booklet. It's a four series. Interior is nice and clean. This is equivalent to a 10 inch medium size. So it's a good day size bag. it's a bigger bag than 10 inch. Or maybe it's 12 inch. We quick uh, me. Does it have stickers on both sides? Uh, no, just, just sticker one. on one side. Okay, I think it's a bigger size, but it's 12 inch. Oh, it's a 12 inch, which is actually it's equivalent like to a jumbo. A jumbo yeah. It doesn't like look like a jumbo, though. I think so. Yeah? yeah. It looks smaller to Maybe me. It's it's Maybe it's still wider. Yeah. Way this way. Yeah. To me, this, it, it doesn't seem as big, but it's like the perfect... But it's definitely bigger than the 10 inch. We can compare the size. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I love this bike. You need to put just it look. now. It's oh yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So that, but it's smaller than jumbo. I agree. Yeah. So it, that is a ten inch, and this is a twelve inch to, to gauge in size. So the price will be coming up I want to try this. in. <laughs> Uh, do you think we'd be allowed to do that? Someone's asking if you could put the care. Probably could, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm afraid. Words. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm afraid we're probably not allowed to copy the information no, on the not. yeah, because that is um, part of the Chanel Care uh, booklet. But I will be happy to read out whenever <laughs> I get one. <laughs> yes, so the price of this incredible, highly collectible bag is £3,995, which is £4,914. Brenna says, uh, oh. Brenna says, Brenna, yes, Winnie should do a Winnie booklet with every That's Chanel sold. Idea, actually. <laughs> what would I say? Would you say? Amazing. You'll just say all <laughs> your wisdom. <laughs> so, oh, it looks so good on you you say that all the time yeah, but you know when you see other people it just looks so much better i love it it is such a nice bag i feel like it's good length don't you, you know think? and it's very practical because you have like two sides two yeah. different compartments and you can put like literally different stuff mm. in there and you will never lose them like you know with the shopper bags it's always an issue to find yeah something. yeah so this is amazing this is a very good great. size yes. just get the slide press marks uh, here, but this is just from storage. So when the uh, strap uh, goes against uh, the um, the leather, but it's absolutely fine. You just wrap the strap with the tissue paper. To so that. just to confirm, you cannot wear this as a crossbody style this bag. This is a shoulder bag. Shoulder bag. And let's just quickly measure the drop. Okay. So the drop on this bag is approximately uh, 12. 12, 12 inches, which is 31 centimetres. So it's ideally worn as a shoulder bag. So going from one brown bag, let's do this brown bag. Yeah, let's do this one. So we love, I know you guys love a pre-owned Kelly. And this is a pre owned. A return, yes. Yeah, a return Kelly. 35. Um, it, uh, is that 35? I think that's a 35. Do you want to quickly measure it for me? Thank you. It's crafted from Togo leather in a chocolate brown. Yes, it's a 35. You know why? You can't really. It doesn't seem big. People worry about the 35. I think that's actually a nice size. You need to take a different thing. Yeah. Measure. So this is a 35. This is a 32. I think it's very minimal in, in sizing. What do you reckon? Yeah. So, this is gorgeous, this bag. If you're looking to invest in your very first vintage Kelly, this is um, a really good option. 
Um, this is a beautiful sort of a brown colorway, chocolate brown colorway with the palladium hardware. It features the cloche, uh, uh, cloche and keys. Um, it is Togo leather and Togo is known for it. It's very high, large grain leather, very durable. Uh, return style with the relaxed fit. 35 it is. 30, 35, yeah. And I believe this item comes with... A shoulder strap. It does, I'm and sure. And a padlock, I think. Yes. Importantly, this comes with its original shoulder strap. So, if you hold that up, I've just... Um, so, you can tell in the modern, uh, the modern Kellys, they have, they're actually designed to have almost like a V with two D rings and they're actually designed to hold a shoulder strap. So this is shoulder strap one and then that's two. Whereas the vintage Kettys wasn't actually designed to have a shoulder strap. So you can see it's just one single D ring on either side. And how does it feel? It sits like low. Yeah. But it's a good I think work it could bag. be worn as crossbody. a crossbody. Yes. And I would say very comfortable crossbody. It looks good crossbody. It looks good. I love the size and I love the return. Yeah. Because it's like a little bit slouchy and less formal. Yeah. So it has a key and crochet in there. Yes, it has a crochet. And this is a P in square, I believe. 2012. 2012 model. This is from 2012. And this is a very beautiful color. It's brown, but it's like a really dark brown. Yeah. With the, and, and the palladium hardware really and offsets it, yes. the chocolateness, the rich tones of that brown. Togo leather. Yeah. Let me just quickly do a condition report because it is a pre-owned Kelly from 2012. Uh, the main body is nice and clean with no hardly any wear or scratches. Uh, there is some wear to the corners of the bag. So you can see there is a light um, scuffing to one corner there and, and light scuffing there. Uh, scuffing to the corners there but nothing majorly structurally wrong with the bag it still has lots of mileage left nice and clean inside and wait till you see the price because this price is incredible so if you're after a vintage Kelly and you want something like a starter Kelly before you go for the big kill this bag including its strap it's only seven thousand pounds. This is an amazing. Price. It is an amazing price. It could be well in you know normally we would reply, uh, price this in the eight to eight and a half up to nine thousand pounds. So this is already two thousand pounds below resale value. Um, the handle is nice and clean with no major wear, and the palladium hardware is also nice and clean with no major scratches. So. If you are wanting to shop this item, this is £7,000, which is uh, 8610 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. All you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon. It will take you to the website where you can see further imagery and read the full description of this item. I think that's it. And it includes its original strap as well. It just looks cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's, it's a really, really nice. good work executive bag. So it is a super duper price, Sam. I agree. It's a very good price. Very, very good price. Winnie yeah. prices today. Yes, it's Winnie prices. It's a Monday. It'll ease you in for the rest of the week. So another really good Winnie price, which I lowered <laughs> just before the show, uh, is a camera bag. We love a vintage Chanel camera bag, don't we? Yes. yes. And it's on the larger size too. Yes, this, it, yes, it's a Winnie winner price. Uh, we love a camera bag. This is also the. This, do you think that's twelve inches across? Um, Would you mind to measure it? The measuring tape. It's eleven. Yeah, ten, it's eleven. Ten. 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 It's ten about ten. eleven. I yeah, it's about eleven, 11 inches, inches across, which is probably the largest size in, when it comes to the camera bag. Um, this is in lovely condition. Um, it has features. It's crafted from black lambskin leather. Has a wonderful CC quilted logo. Has that lovely external um, pocket as well. Comes with, of course, what the thing about we love about the uh, camera bag. It has that gorgeous side tassel, which is so lovely to touch. Actually, it's so tactile, and it has. It's nice and clean along the back. We do have one more um, uh, Louis Vuitton to show you, Charlotte. So do stay on in the next minute or so. 
so and it features the long style um, 24 karat uh, gold gilded intertwining chain and it's you can wear body. this as a crossbody bag this is actually designed to be worn as an everyday you know off duty everyday use bag um, I do need to point out it does have some slight wear there is a little bit of wear along the corner here and some light wear to the corners there however it doesn't affect the bag structure structurally and light wear here as well it's a zip top opening bag and inside it comes with a serial sticker only and it is a two series has the original serial sticker it's a two series 91 to 94 yeah it's from 91 to 94 and it's nice and clean inside as well so the price of this bag is shortly coming up. It is 1,500. Oh, only 1,000? Yeah, 1,000. And that's 500. for a larger one. Yeah, 1,550 pounds, which is 1,906 US dollars. If you after a camera bag and you wanted to get it under the 1,600 pound range, then this is the bag for you. Um, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon. It will take you to the website where you can see further imagery and you can read further information on that bag. It is such a great price, Charlotte. I agree. I know. The Sitar Sisters, do you guys own a camera bag each? Actually, I wonder if the Sitar Sisters, do you guys borrow each other's stuff? <laughs> or you're like, hands off, don't touch my bag. That's your wardrobe. That's my wardrobe. <laughs> So they're the most stylish sisters we know who visit our webs um, our shows every day. Just want to quickly say hello to Nadia and so uh, Sophia. So let's move on to the uh, Louis Vuitton bag, actually. Let's do the Louis. So quite a nice shape. Yeah, this is the uh, sought after ellipse bag, and this is in the cute PM size. Uh, we often get the GM and the MM, but we very rarely get the PM size. And this is really, really a nice everyday uh, handbag. Um, it has a beautiful concave design. Very, it's very structured uh, with that fichette piping. And um, also has that fichette leather. It is in lovely condition. And it features a zip opening as well. So we open the bag up. Inside the bag is nice and clean, has a canvas interior and a little pocket as well. There's no pen marks to the bag. This is now a discontinued style at Louis Vuitton, so it's considered, now this is considered a one of a kind vintage bag. So the age of this bag, I'm looking at the date stamp, it is from uh, 1988. I do not. Yeah. Uh, it has the yeah, date stamp. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you can read the date stamp inside and it's made in France. So it is a really, really cute bag. Just love the um, the monogram, canvas exterior, treated exterior. And, you know, it's very structured. You can see that it, it won't lose its shape the way it is called. Yeah. Ah. Um. Ah, so maybe they have relaunched this style. Someone's just said they've bought the Eclipse bag. Maybe it's slightly different now. It's got white piping now. Apparently. Oh, white piping. Oh, I need to have I a like look. I like the vintage look. Yeah, this is nice, the vintage this look. Nice. And also when the, um, the leather becomes a little bit darker, this is so much nicer. Yeah, the honey patina look, yes. which is lovely. What's it like? What, what is it? Um, someone's just mentioned the... Um, Eclipse now. Is it um, white with a uh, monogram design or is it white with epi? Do let us know. It'd be interesting to. And it came out in the BB size. Oh, so it must be really, really small if it's BB size. That is so, so cute. So the price of this will be shortly coming up. Hmm. This is the, oh, the vintage one. This that's vintage the vintage. One. Yeah, they're the vintage one. Oh, this is the new one. Look. Where oh, is your it's tiny. The BB one. And the new one, yeah. the new one costs £2,000. Oh, so the new BB size is £2,800? £2,080. £2,080. And my one, the vintage one, is only £550, which is 676 US dollars. 
And I do like the monogram canvas as well. And it comes with, um, so it comes with, does it come with it? It comes with a complimentary Luxury Promise dust bag, nice and clean. And if you want to shop this item, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon. Um, a lot of people are saying uh, vintage is better anyway. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Hands down. The quality is definitely better. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte, does the Chanel come with its card? Are you talking about the camera bag? Uh, the camera bag only comes with a serial sticker. And it's a two series. So, let's move swiftly on. So, we've done all these items. Yes. Uh, I don't think we've done this. This one? Yes. Should we do? Yeah, there you go. No, I'll do this as well. Do we have Someone's asking, there was some pearl earrings on there? Yes. Oh, yeah. We'll yes, I the really want to do the pearl earrings. Yeah. Maybe do the pearl earrings. Okay, so let I'll me do, do the... So, yeah. Okay, that's my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, if you know me, you know I love vintage Chanel. And also, not only like classical models, but also items which I can reference to the um, books, campaigns, uh, any basically collectible item. So, this is an iconic design this style has been reintroduced within the years but this is the original oh my god <laughs> yes thank you this is the original vintage one from the late 80s with the chanel uh, hallmark right on the back side of the earrings so actually this particular model was worn by um ines de la Frisange in the campaign shot by Karl Lagerfeld himself in 89, 1989, and I just love how they look. And is it the original um, clip back here? This is the original clip, yeah. and this is the original signature corresponding to that time, and also I have a picture of these earrings on the campaign ad to show you. So just look how amazing this look. Very comfortable clip closure. I love the dangling part, mm. and also the tiny CC logo in the middle. The condition is amazing. I don't think it has any. Doesn't look like it has any enamel. It doesn't peeling have no. It doesn't chipping. have any peeling. There no. is no tarnish to the twenty-four karat gold gilding. And let me just a second show you the picture of Ines de la Frisange wearing them. So when it comes to collecting, whenever we can reference it to a campaign ad, just you look. can see there. So this is Ines. her wearing exactly the same pair, and that is the image shot by Karl Lagerfeld himself. And these are this pair of clips next to, to the, the um, picture of Ines. How important is it for us to show people the reference? I think when you can, provenance. when you can, well, basically you do know this is Chanel and we do guarantee authenticity and we can reference to the hallmark and the quality of the item. But when you actually see this item in the runway book or in campaign book, you know that the value of this item, it has been chosen to be yeah. on this on the shot so the value grows exactly. and i personally love these items which i can cross reference to any... that is such a good point elena because out of all the you know hundreds of models that they or the samples that they have they chose this particular piece to be in, in part of yes. a very important campaign uh, so it helps us to us authenticators and when we're doing our research we can reference these particular earrings to a particular era and it adds more um, value, provenance, provenance and a value to uh, these items. And if you're a collector, sometimes you're just going through the magazines or you're going through books or the like Pinterest with all those images and you find something you really like and you just start looking for these items which were shot in the campaigns. So yeah. like I was looking for, I know I was looking for this pair yeah. and then I'm looking for other pairs which were uh, also featured in the campaigns. Yeah. And it's weird, uh, like me and Lena, when we see something, if it's something historical, we have like this photographic memory. Yeah, like, oh, I, I oh, well, this. actually, Lena has a photographic okay. memory. So I just go, what year is this? And she goes, it's from 1989. Okay, not everything. Not everything. You <laughs> want to say that I'm a genius. Carl <laughs> Lagerfeld <Longerfell> campaign. <laughs> yes, so I tend to rem camera back. Oh, oh, congratulations. Oh, well done. So do we have Charlotte, the price? Who, who got them? I think it might be Charlotte. Oh, Anna Christina, are you talking about like looking for items? Do you mean that? Like when you're going through, through the um, images and then you just, oh, I need that. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's basically, yeah. So the earrings, the price of these earrings, yes. it comes with its original box, guys. Yes, as it well. has the box. So 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly, Charlotte. It's always nice to see, like, I have that. Yeah. So I what's have the those. price? Oh, <laughs> the price is 995 Yeah, which really? is a fantastic price. Really? 995 yeah. I would expect it to be over 1K. Yeah, like, like 1200 yes. Like, this is an amazing price, £995 or 1223 US dollars, and they are available right here. Yeah, so amazing already price. they're like £300 uh, under resale. Yes, and pearls yeah. are so classic. This is like so Chanel. Yeah. Amazing. I love this pair. <laughs> so, um, let me just quickly move on to qu um, some vintage Louis. They're the last bit of Louis. And I think we have just a couple more bits. And then if you have anything you want us to recap, um, do let us know. Um, if you've just joined and you want to see what we have featured so far, there is a handbag icon just below. You can quickly tap on there. And anybody else who've just joined us from the beginning, uh, we have a last 15, 20 minutes left. So if there's anything that's still available and you want us to re-feature or you want us to show the condition again, do let uh, let us know in the comments box and Rachel will remind us to show it again. So I've got two um, small small little um, goods, accessories from uh, Louis Vuitton. I'll start with the little mini pochette because people, I know you guys love these makeup pochettes. This is the size 15 little toiletry pochette. It has that coated monogram design, good condition, it has a little zipper pull, and it's the perfect, it's actually the perfect little makeup size. It is. Yeah. Great for, you know, holding your makeup, uh, cards, or if you just want to use it as a little uh, push, like little handbag, a uh, little clutch style bag, you can. Uh, we recently had this bag completely um, uh, relined again. So it has a brand new lining. It's not original. It, we completely relined this bag because it was completely perished. So we totally um, relined the bag. So it has a brand new lining. Um, overall in good, great clean condition. Uh, someone said, can we show the Shana, uh, Celine Pell earrings? Celine? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. show that next. Don't worry, Abby. We'll do that. No problem. So, and it has a little leather pull tab. The uh, hardware on the leather uh, on the brass tone hardware is excellent, no peeling, and it closes securely. In terms of if you want to use this as a little handheld clutch, if it can fit a phone, just give me one second. I've got an iPhone 13. It's too big, I'm afraid. It's just too big to hold a phone. Maybe something smaller if you're still rocking a vintage iPhone 8. I think that would be a good size. Or an iPhone 12. Or an iPhone 12. Oh. Not quite. I don't think it will fit. No. Maybe without a cover? No. 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 It's too, yeah. So definitely big enough to hold lipstick, compact, your credit or debit cards, keys, a little face mask if you're still wearing face masks. Other than that, it's just a very good portable size. And this is the size 15, toiletry 15. It has a little fichette leather detail there. Let's quickly show everybody on Instagram. Hi Instagram followers, if you're watching this, please head over to luxurypromise.com where you can see and shop live from our website. So this little cosmetic pouch is £190, which is $233 US dollars. And it's available to shop right there and all your customs and duties are included. We'll do, Abby, if you're still on, we're gonna do the Celine earrings now. I'm already wearing them. <laughs> this one's. <laughs> These are cute little ones. So you get like two circles in each other saying Celine and then a tiny pearl in here. And these have a comfort um, pad already included. So they just look so stunning. I love these. I love this. So you get the Celine detailing, but also this is something you can wear during the day. Mm. So this is not too overpowering. Just have a look. This is how the clip, um, the Celine, uh, clip on the rings look from the front and this is from the back obviously they are signed and you get the comfort pad like a sleeve one in here you, you can, can remove you it you can if remove it your... or you can add this yeah. depending on how you prefer to wear your clips and the condition is amazing there is no tarnish on the metal and there is no peeling on the pearls so they are just like new shall i flip the screen yeah. something sold let me just show you what comfort pad do you recommend. Oh, so if the if the um, yeah. 
if it's closed oh, congratulations. congratulations so if you get the clip closure like that which is like one piece and without a holes i would definitely suggest the sleeve but if there are holes you can put like the the the, the pin type one inside or actually depending on what you prefer there is no rule for that this is the celine clip on earrings and it is signed celine paris i love this pair they are very so beautiful gorgeous they're so unusual i like the fact they're kind of layer on top yes, of each other yes like floating. you get one circle the another, another one, one and then you get the center one yeah they are amazing so let's see the price for this pair Vintage Celine is amazing. Okay, it's 360 pound or 442 US dollars. And it's available right here. And we have shown in the beginning of the life, we have shown amazing Celine bracelets as well. They are available if you type the handbag icon below. So I think somebody wanted to see the brown Chanel. Just give me one second because I really want to feature this. Uh, no, Ali, the Celine bracelets are still available. If you tap on the icon below, you'll be able to see it. So, um, who was it wanted to see the brown? Uh, just give me one second. I will uh, quickly show this Chanel brown bag in one second. Now, we do have, if you're after a uh, Louis Vuitton wallet, this is a really handy wallet. It could also double up as a clutch bag. This is um, PXL1026. PXL1026. Crafted from that lovely, iconic, monogram canvas design with the brass tone push lock uh, closure there. Lovely condition, very minimal wear to the corners of the purse. Uh, inside, it uh, features two sections. Uh, one section dedicated to six uh, credit cards, as well as a little pouch area to put any cash or receipts. And it also has an internal coin area, which is just there, as well as a separate section to hold more paperwork now. So it is lovely condition, very highly practical. You can, in terms of phone, you can put in an iPhone 13 very comfortably, very easily, pop that in there. And you can also double up as a evening clutch if you wanted to use it as a day clutch. Great condition and so in terms of age i would say this is a 90s piece uh, from looking at the date stamp overall there's no sticky interior um you know sometimes on vintage louis vuitton it feels slightly sticky but this one's in nice good clean condition and the coin section part is also in nice clean condition as well can you show the second chanel bracelet which one's the second the chanel second. we didn't have a second chanel bracelet uh, we had two Celine ones. Yeah, yeah. We've. Um, if you're talking about the Chanel cuff, um, Jackie, that has just sold, I'm afraid. So the price of this little wallet is three hundred and seventy-five pounds. It's a Sarah wallet, and um, and it is four hundred sixty-one US dollars. If you want to shop this item, all you need to do is just tap on the icon. So for those who wanted to see the Chanel brown bag. So oh, this yeah. is the bag and I've matched it next to the Celine bracelet okay. with amazing Celine detailing in here. So this is the bag. Just look how stunning it looks together. So this is actually a double faced bag in brown color, which we find to be quite rare because normally you would see them in black or in red. Vinny, did you say red? You saw uh, this. What's that? The, the double faced bag? That yeah, it's red. actually does go perfectly. It, it goes red. perfectly, I know. So oh wow! <laughs> While you were talking, I was trying stuff on. I like the upselling you're doing. You're no, I just love the stuff, you know. <laughs> so this is the bag. It's in amazing condition. I personally think it's like literally light, light wear to the corners. Even just on one corner, I would say, like on this yeah. one. So um, it has a sticker. Was it like... It's four series. Four series, 97 to 97? Uh, 96 to 97. 96 to 97. And he also had the original had, cards yes. and the care booklet as well. And we will provide you with a complimentary uh, Luxury Promise dust bag. The inside is nice and clean on both sides. So it has the medallion on the closure and also the gold plated hardware is in amazing condition. There is no tarnish, no 
uh, no damage to the gold plated hardware. So this is an amazing bag. It's not a crossbody. It's designed to be yeah. just as a shoulder bag, so the chain is not movable. So this is how it is. And we, we actually measured it. It's like 12 inch. Yeah. Uh, was it 14 inch? Uh, 14, 14 inch. Yeah, yeah. which is 30 something centimeters or 20 yes. something centimeters. So the 14 inch, it's a bigger bag. So it's, yeah. let's, let's measure it again. So oh, the, oh, you yeah, the you drop. Mean, yeah, the, the oh, sorry. This yes. is the twelve. Yeah, yes, it's a twelve inch. inch Equivalent to like a jumbo. So it's an amazing vintage condition. Overall, the body of the bag is stunning. The only thing you have the press marks here from the storage. The chain was stored on top of the leather. So this is just the press marks marks on the leather. Otherwise, it is very very stunning. Yeah, and I love it next to the bracelet. And the price of this was three thousand nine hundred. Oh, yeah, just under the four thousand pound mark for this highly collectible double face um, Siamese twin Chanel vintage um, twelve inch bag. So if somebody was asking about the Celine earrings. I've got the Celine earring on here. Um, it feels very comfortable on. Uh, I like the fact they're kind of discreet. They're not like overpoweringly big. They are very discreet. I like the design as well. It's like two Celine discs sort of on top of each other. Uh, the, the, uh, the condition is excellent uh, with Celine on one side and Celine Paris on the other with the pearl setting. And it has comes with some comfort strap as well. It's all original condition. And it is signed uh, Celine, made in Italy. And I believe um, it's the very first item at the top and these are 360 pounds. Yeah. In terms of swapping, Jackie, you need to email over uh, sell at a luxury promise and we'll give you a valuation um, for your Chanel bag which come and actually if anybody wants to sell to us if you want to exchange with us um, we'll give you a valuation which you get in a form of a credit or an exchange gift card which you can use that value to shop against anything in luxury promise and, and the uh, gift card does not expire and you don't have to use all the amount at once. And something. The Sarah wallet. The Sarah wallet has sold. Congratulations. That is such a brilliant wallet. Such a handy wallet. Congratulations. Whoever's just bought this. <laughs> so what's Jen asking? Is there a Sabrina slash price on the Celine earrings? Asking for a friend. Lol, lol, lol. Asking for a friend. Uh, are, they, are they heavy to wear, Winnie? No, no they're, they're not, not heavy. Not heavy all. to wear. Not heavy to wear. Well, while we, uh, let, why don't you show the lariat while I'm at this? Maybe Jen, I'll have a look. But this is my only, only offer this evening. I'm not going to do any others. So uh, while we check on the price, uh, Elena's going to show you another vintage piece. So we have this lovely lariat necklace, Chanel one, featuring the coin motif here and then they cut out CC logos at the end. So basically, bless you. So basically, uh, this necklace is supposed to be worn like this. Well, anyway, you can wear it anyhow you like. So you can wear it like this, or you can wear it like this. So it does not close, it doesn't have a hook. You can wear it this side, so you will have the chain, and then the two, two, uh, two, two, two CC logos in here but personally I would wear something without a bag like and ah. I would wear them in, like, and then tie a knot I would like, backless like a dress or something that and is then so I would, chic I very sexy yeah like this because I think this is really stylish and with a ponytail yeah like on on the back and then on the front you would have just this so Shame. when a necklace is called a lariat, is it because it's open-ended and you can tie it? I think so. Yeah, because um, it's. I don't think you should tie it. It's more supposed to be weight on the end. Yeah, tie but you can tie it. And yeah, actually, that's it looks how so I would wear good. it. Tie. On yeah. the front, yes, just look. like that. Oh, yeah. I would wear it, so it's slightly not so symmetrical. So like, one is yeah, longer than the other. You. you can like play that. with this around. Yeah, and just lift it either side and dangle it. It's interesting how it all wear it differently. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you, it's up to your choice. So in terms of condition, the condition is good. It does have some wear on the gold plated metal on both sides, and the chain also has a light loss of gold plated shine. 
it is signed on the metal plug um this is this is how um, the plug should look on the uh, necklaces. So it's a little bit bended to fit the chain. And this is corresponding to the uh, 1980s Chanel. This is one of my favorite pieces. I, I do. do. Yeah, I really love this. I, I love, the, I love so this dangling unusual. part and the cutout details. Mm. And I like the fact it's open-ended. Mm -hmm. So you can wear it loose. So it gives you so many options. Exactly. Yes. I find it really, really Let unusual. me just flip the screen so you will be able to see how um, the gold-plated metal looks like. So this is actually, um, this is how it looks like. It's a little bit worn. You can always replate it. It would look shinier. I personally don't like to replate vintage jewelry uh, because I love the uh, vintage 24 karat gold gilding and the shine of it, even if it has some wear. It's so natural for the vintage pieces. And this is this is the chain. So do we have the price for this item, Rachel? Somehow it doesn't fix on the metal. Have you come across this stuff? Yes, I have. So yeah. uh, I know in nine, was it, I think in 1994, yeah. I think uh, they had, sold. What, yeah, the Celine. Yeah, the Celine. Oh, you like the price. Yeah, we, it went down to three hundred and twenty pounds. I was about to really? announce it. <laughs> yeah, John. Yeah, I found out on uh, the house. Yeah, congratulations. Well I think done. it was. Three sixty. No, 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 no. I think it was ninety-four. I'm just trying to remember. It was in one of the catalogs. Uh, Stellaton was wearing it, and it was like the metal one, like you know, the the round. Yeah. Um, chain and then you would just get the cc parts yeah and but it was on the longer size mm. and she was like wrapping it around Look at this do you think you can wear this as like um you know like for your glasses well if you, you can... probably if your the arms are thin yeah. enough no. i think no yeah. i don't think they they off it. It. even yeah. if they're just metal like but the ending should be like a little bit thicker. yeah 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 i just love it like this yeah so i now would love it on the back yeah it just looks so good, and the way it's the weight of them is the perfect. Yeah, so it doesn't fall. It because doesn't fall. It doesn't fall yeah, it's almost like weights. I would I would wear this with the shirt under the uh, collar, oh, yeah, and it would look yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's a good idea it's under the collar. collar. Yes. Yeah, that would look good. Rachel, I don't have a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what's the price of what's this the price? gorgeous yes, it has, collectible has it item? Has been pinned already. Think. Yeah. Let's Let have a let's find. Repin. Okay, let's repin it. Hmm. Okay, it's only seven hundred fifty pounds or nine hundred twenty two US dollars, and this is available right here by the icon. So what else do you want? Some uh, more Celine. Morseline earrings. I think we have just we had just one pair tonight. Of yeah. Earrings. But good to know that you like Celine though. Let us know if you want us to find more Celine. We actually love hunting down these pieces. Oh, I love Celine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, right. This is towards the end of the show now. Um, if there's anything you want us to show, please let us know. I might quickly show a brooch. Should we do a brooch each to end? Yes. Which we can, brooch? Yeah. You know, I'll go for the uh, for the Dior. Actually, I love Dior. Yeah. Oh, I'll go, go for this one. Oh, yes, let's do this one. <laughs> uh, let's do this one. Are the prices making you sneeze? <laughs> it's, yeah, price slashing. <laughs> So, um, prices. let's, uh, I'm going to end on my kind of key piece. It is Versace. I do love, uh, Corin said, do you know if you have another pair of Liz Taylor earrings coming in the week? Saw them on yesterday's preview. We may have, um, uh, yes, we may have, but please we keep an eye. Yeah, we will need to double check because they're just highly sought after. So, um, but Corin, keep an eye on our shows. Um, to end with, we've got a... Versace, yeah. yeah, it is a vintage Versace Medusa head brooch and it features, it's crafted from silver tone um, 
base metal with a pin backing and it features the Medusa, which looks incredible on my white blazer, actually. It's a Everything very nice... Everything looks incredible yeah, this on, looks... Your, on your white blazer. <laughs> that I don't blazer. own, that I've just nicked off someone's chair. Um, this, I do like this blazer. Um, this is equivalent to about an inch high and it features the, the uh, goddess Medusa, who, of course, we know if you took... She had this most incredible beauty and if you took one look of her, you would turn Into to stone. stone. So the only way, what? How did um? Is it which which? Uh, Every of Medusa is beautiful. She's one that had the skin. She was, but she was also yeah. beautiful. Yeah. As in, like, yeah, people were, that the men were entranced by her. Was it beauty? Her singing voice or something I like think, that? Maybe. Yeah. I think yeah. she had the. The guy defeated her because he looked at her in his shield. Yes, she he defeated her by reflect putting her own reflection, wasn't it? Was it yes. was it or Hercules? He turned her to stone. I think he turned her into Ooh. stone. Yeah, that's oh. happy. <laughs> yes. So this is highly collectible because it's actually signed Gianni Versace made in Italy. So of course anything Gianni Versace era in the 90s when it's full name Gianni Versace it's more and more unusual and very limited quantity due to his untimely death um, so these become very very highly collectible this is in lovely condition no wear or no tarnish and it sits beautifully on the lapel of your jacket as well so and it will not turn anyone into stone. And it won't turn anyone into stone. You can look at this all day and you'll be fine. You'll be soft like me. <laughs> not stone. <laughs> when is it going to be different to designers? Jewelry show. Oh, someone's asking for your show. Well, Cal. 10 a.m. So, if you love so far, if you love this eclectic mix of different vintage um, jewelry, um, Elena does her solo show, 10 a.m. British summertime every Wednesday. Is it 10 a.m. or 10.30 now? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. in the minute. 10 a.m. So do to tune in to Elena's show. She will be covering her top 20 to 25 pieces. Yes. And it's a really fun and informative and very, um, I call it edutainment. So, yeah, what? it's edutainment. Edutainment. It's a bit of education and it's entertainment. It's jewellery 101. Yes, jewellery mm -hmm. 101. Yes. So, the... Um, I know, yes, so the price of this is £195, which is $239 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties, and if you want to shop this item, just tap on that icon. Okay, so I'm actually tempted to show two, but... Yeah, go, let's go for it. No, I, I, will, I will give you the option to vote whichever of these two you want to see. So this is a quite special because this was also featured on the uh, campaign ad. And this is, I love vintage Dior. So this is a Dior logo and we love Lagomania. It has always been in fashion and it will never go out of fashion, I think so. So vote, which one do you want to see? All of them. The Dior. <laughs> Uh, does Elena ever have any vintage fine jewelry? We don't have fine jewelry yet. Sometimes we do get one. Yes, yeah, we do. Yeah, so Van Cleef and Tartier will be featured in upcoming shows. So keep an eye um, on our showcase. But if you are interested in vintage fine jewelry or any unsigned costume paste jewelry, do let us know from the 40s and 50s because Elena is an expert. She is. So, are you trying to sell me? <laughs> no, no, you are though. You are. There, I mean, there are. Although we love our designer brands, there are another plethora of amazing vintage costume pieces that are. Um, yes. So well, the vintage fat, vintage jewelry does not end with French designers. No. There is much more to it. So as you have, oh, actually both. It's like Dior and Chanel. So, but okay, let's do the Dior. So um, Dior logo. This is the actually from the 80s, the perfume Christian Dior uh, hallmark is in here with the um, a pin closure right in the middle. So why I love this brush. So it has the C and then it has the Dior. So you would know this is a Dior, but at the same time it, it will attract uh, the attention because you would actually need to focus on this to understand what's written in there if you don't know. And um, there are a few styles uh, of uh, this brush in like in a Dior or C Dior, 
and I just love this one because it has the gold plated finish. Some of them are in silver and this has no crystals and I just love this. This is just plain matte. Would you say it's a matte gold? I'd say it's like a matte gold. Yeah, it looks like matte It's gold. a matte gold. Um, is it like for, um, it's not quite big, but it would sit very nicely on this amazing blazer. Yeah, actually, this is a really nice size. It's a real it's nice amazing size. Um, statement size. As this Dior, um, vintage Dior logo brushes are really hard to come by. I know they sell out very quickly. Like this is, I'd say on the widest part, two and a half inches. So that is roughly yeah. six six centimeters yes so do we have the price for this one sure lady p just give me a moment i will check my instagram um, dm box afterwards so this brush is 395 pound or 485 us dollars and this is an amazing price yeah it is it's available right here just there Charlotte, that is already uh, an amazing winner, winner price. It it's, is. Yeah, £195. It, it is. is already. Go and try and look for a vintage brooch for less than 200 for Versace. It would no, be very Versace, it's, it's, it's like yeah. I would expect it to be much higher than that. Yeah. So... Right, so this is the end of our live yes. show. Thank you so much for those who have joined us. Um, if you want to see anything very, very quickly, quickly tap on the icon, uh, hand and the handbag icon, and then let us know uh, if you want us to quickly recap a certain item or you want the condition report again. Um, you've got about a minute to let us know. Uh, the Dior brooch it is, is a it, great it piece. Is, it is. is such a great, great piece. I agree. Uh, otherwise, thank you to those who had, had made those wonderful purchases this evening. It's always such a lovely show. I enjoy these shows with yes. Elena. It's so much thank fun. You. And um, Sandy saying thank you, Winnie, Elena and Rachel. And thank you. And we will be back tomorrow uh, afternoon, 2 p.m. with Grace's Grace. Box Fresh Show. Which, we, what do we expect? Brand new in-season shoes. And anything that yeah. comes with a box. So it's all pretty much unused, unworn. Um, box boxed and often less than the rrp so you have to join us 2 p.m oh, we have some great shoes oh really Ooh, rachel what kind Everybody of shoes everybody needs shoes uh hermes we've got uh, hermes orans do we have orans yes. do we have granddad santal chanel yeah oh, oh, I need oh one of those. amazing so remember to join grace's show tomorrow at 2 p.m thank you so thank much thank you so much have a lovely have evening. a lovely evening and join elena on wednesday 10 a.m Bye. Bye. Bye, Instagram. Bye, Instagram.